In the beginning there was time. Time saw the stars spun into light, the mountains rise and fall, rocks turn into clay. We created with it, sought shelter under it. Some things don't change with time. At Borrell, we still use clay. We shape it and fire it. We forge ceramic roof tiles in enduring hues. Clean lines, elegant finishes, durable, sustainable. As old as time made new for modern homes. Borrell. Build something great. Why can RAA provide better service to South Australians? Well, morning, Deb. Morning, Sam. If there's a storm, we already know there's a storm. Hey, Deb. Hi, Ben. Or if you're broken down, we know exactly where the street is. Netball tonight, Deb. Go, Tigers. We understand things that affect locals. Morning, Deb. Morning, oh, Deb. morning, ladies. And we can make difficult situations easier because... Your locals too? Yes, that's why we can do more for South Australians. Yes, good evening and welcome to NPL South Australia. It's grand final night here in the City of Churches. We are in Adelaide and tonight's game, Campbelltown hosting Adelaide City and we are live from Cooper's Stadium. Once again, it's a beautiful Saturday night here. Don't worry that it's just started spring or winter's just finished. Perfect conditions for the players and for the spectators. Not forgetting NPL, NPL 2018 South Australian Final Series is proudly presented by Borrell. And we'd also like to acknowledge the RAA proudly supporting football in South Australia. Get an insurance quote today from the RAA. Also not forgetting the 2018 Celebration of Football, and that'll be held Saturday, October 6th at the Adelaide Convention Centre. You want to get down there, speak to your club to book your seat. That's Saturday the 6th of October, the Celebration of Football, Adelaide Convention Centre. We'd also like to acknowledge Claymore Wines, who have been great supporters throughout the season for our Player of the Match Award. And the Claymore Wines uh, will donate $1 from every bottle of Claymore Wines purchased at participating outlets to a women's football fund. Visit the FFSA website for more information. Your grand final commentary team tonight is Paul Pelizzari, Rob Pepicelli, and our statistician, Ryan Marvejo. So firstly, a very good evening to you, Mr. Rob Pepicelli. Yeah, good evening, Paul. Good evening to the viewers. So there's a big game here, the grand final of uh, the South Australian MPL, and it's Campbelltown up against Adelaide City. It's going to be a, a fantastic game tonight here at the Cooper Stadium, formerly Highmark Stadium. So I can't wait for the kickoff for tonight. Absolutely. Uh, Ryan, a uh, very good evening to you, mate. Good evening, boys. Good evening, viewers and listeners. How are you? It's a great night. A little bit of a chill in the air, but I reckon once that first minute gets underway, there's going to be a lot of heat on that <laughs> A lot of heat. I like that. Speaking of heat, let's go down to our boundary rider, always portraying a lot of heat. Thanks to Dry Creek Auto Records, Andrew Sperling. Spells, a very good and chilly evening to you. Is it down there? Hot as fire tonight down here. Don't worry about that. Yeah, no, fantastic. Welcome to everyone, and uh, what a game we're in store for. Perhaps, I reckon, the best grand final we've covered, boys. So mm, Very even. We'll see see how it rolls, but pitch in perfect condition. A little bit of dew, a little bit of moisture, but uh, just perfect conditions down here. And, boys, this is what the players uh, play for throughout the season, to play on the hallowed turf of High March Stadium, as you call it, Rob Cooper Stadium, as it's now known. But uh, that's what it's all about, really. Is it, is it, it almost is. secondary to the grand final, Ryan, as a recent former player? It is, you know, there's, there's, I know you talked to Ryan, oh, okay, people know. talk about <laughs> premierships, championships, but this is the, the ultimate. Playing on the grass. The ultimate is the grand final. Don't worry about your premierships, don't worry about that. This is the night, the grand final, Campbelltown against Adelaide City. It's only taken him about two minutes to get political, fantastic. Thank well, you. Let's uh, acknowledge some other sponsors that have made this broadcast possible, of course. We'd like to acknowledge uh, Football Federation SA, obviously, for making this uh, throughout the whole season uh, possible for you guys to be watching at home through Facebook Live, through YouTube Live, and through the website of the FFSA. Now, they've got a new website, too. 
Uh, yeah, they changed it a yes, bit. Yes, they yeah. have, and it's very user-friendly. It wasn't uh, ffsa.com.au, and for those of you worried a little bit about your data, you can be listening to the commentary through Adelaide Web Radio, through their website, Adelaide Web Radio, adelaidewebradio.com.au, or, or through the TuneIn app. Robbie. Excellent. Our boundary ride today spells us down there. It's going to be an exciting night. Dry Kick Creek, Auto Records, 310 Cormac Road, Wingfield, Yadelaide, Wrecking Yard, stocking second hand and rebuild parts. Their phone number 82603088. Top goal scorer of the, of the year award, as we all know, um, winning that is the Metro Stars. Christian Esposito. Christian Esposito. He was happy about it last week, wasn't he? Yeah, it was a bit down. They didn't make the grand final. They lost and a little bit upset, a little bit upset after the game, but. Uh, He's got himself that top goal scorer. He's brought to you by the OAS Group. OAS Group provides a range of construction, building, design, and renovation. Ryan Marveggia, Anthony Di Bartolomeo, Diego Barber are the professionals to help you build your dream home. Give Ryan a call. The man right next to me, 0401 447 199. The stats is brought to you by Chemist King, Hectorville. 84 Glenburn Road, Hectorville. Go see Michael Uccello for the range of pharmaceutical products. Around the ground scores brought to you by West Beach Pizza Bar. 699 Burbridge Road, West Beach, for your mouth-watering, delicious pizzas. If it's still open, we might go down there after the game. The Replay Player of the Year Award as well is brought to you by the LSA Live Streaming Australia. If you're looking for your live streaming, your sports events, corporate functions or business seminars, see the experts of LSA Live Streaming Australia. Spells as the man to, to give them a call, 0418 847 125. And winning that award, uh, congratulations once again to... Uh, Valentino Yule from Adelaide City. Fantastic. We want to have a look at the journey of these two teams took to get to the uh, ultimate tonight, and that is the grand final, Adelaide City, uh, hosted by Campbelltown. We haven't got it this week, so uh, thanks for that. We didn't rehearse that, and you can actually tell that right there and then. So let's have a look at the head-to-head -head before we make a selection. Campbelltown v Adelaide City tonight. It's been eight years, firstly, just looking at the stats and the history. It's been eight years since Adelaide City have won a grand final. Failed in their last two. Could be third time lucky tonight. But the interesting stat is this season. But this year they've done it a little bit the harder way. Adelaide City. Adelaide City. Could Getting into the grand final. Right. So could that have taken it out of them? And psychologically, Campbelltown, sorry, Adelaide City have not beaten Campbelltown this season. And if you want to go back to the last 34 meetings between these two teams, Campbelltown, they've only won 10. They've drawn three times and Adelaide City have won 21 times. So interesting. I don't know how you guys are going to tip tonight. So head-to-head, uh, -head, as I said, this season, Adelaide City have not beaten Campbelltown. In fact, we have to go back to February 27th. No, sorry, uh, May 2017. In fact, uh, yeah, May 2017 when Adelaide City last beat Campbelltown. So I don't know how you digest it's good all that, to see boys. the rivalry, too, between both these two teams, Campbelltown and Adelaide City. Joey Mullen and Damien Murray are actually great friends. Absolutely. And uh, in, even in today's paper, it was good to see that, the rivalry against these two. So it's going to be a magnificent game tonight. Campbelltown, to me, should be favourites. They've had the week's rest. They've got a great team. No one's injured. They're ready and fired to go. Whereas Adelaide City, they've got a young bench. Kostopoulos got sent off two weeks ago and will not be playing in tonight's grand final. That's a bit of a loss, but they played well at Adelaide City last week, so it's about I'll give them a little chance. Yeah. Six goals out of the team. So I'll give them a little chance there too, but it's going to be a beauty tonight. We'll go through the lineups, I think, before we make the selection, so you guys at home or watching on your smart devices can uh, make a decision with us as well. So for Campbelltown, who uh, classed as the home team tonight, their lineup is as follows. Nicholas Harpus is in goals for Campbelltown, wearing the number two tonight. Sean Harvey, the captain of Campbelltown, number four, Ian Fife. Number five, Matthew Mullen. Number six, Dion Kirk. Number eight, Alex Mullen. Number nine, Mark Marino. Number ten, Louis the Destroyer Detroyer. What an excitement machine he is. Number 14, Adam Pishkaneri. And number 18, Yohei Matsumoto. Number 23, Jake Halliday. On the bench for Campbelltown tonight, number three, Anthony Hartnell. Number 11, Anthony Torre. Number 16, Andrew Mayo. Number 19, Thomas Viet, son of the great Carl Viet. And the reserve goalkeeper for Campbelltown tonight, Joseph Ruggiero. So we all know about Mark Marino up front there. Former Adelaide United, uh, had a bit of a stint with Adelaide United and Melbourne City in the A-League. Uh, I think he's taking the place of Anthony Torre. So Torre starts off on the bench today. And Marino's been injured, lack of form. He's just the peak at the right time, and he's made that first 11. So... 
Well done to Campbelltown Red Devils in Mark Marino. And he's got a lot of mates around him that can help him scoring and a good spread of scorers there, as you can see on screen, for Campbelltown. But this is what they're up against, and it's, uh, it's Adelaide City. Adelaide City in goals. We see on the board there, Ryan Veach uh, is number one. Then we've got uh, number four, Scotty Nagel, is on the left uh, fullback position, the stopper, the captain. And uh, Matty Halliday is there. Also, the twin stopper in Corbo. I'm not sure if he's going to be playing there, Ryan. We saw Allwright playing in that uh, twin position there. Yeah, I think uh, Joel Allwright will be playing the centre-back. Shannon Day will just be pushed back a little bit and Corbo will be playing the number six. They'll be lining up as a 4-3-3, which served them well last week yep. against Metro We'll Stars. see what happens. Allwright's on the right full-back position as, as it is on the screen. He's number seven. On the left, uh, he played a great game in uh, Casabore there for Adelaide City. That's Stefan Casabora. He's number seven. He's on the left wing. Booker in the middle of the park, number 11. And that's uh, Nicholas Booker. Uh, Joey Costa played a great game last week against Metro Stars. He's number eight. Uh, Shannon Day also played well. Scored a beautiful goal, didn't he, last week uh, in Shannon Day. He's number 12. And up front, uh, Valentino Yule. He's, uh, he's the, the factor, X factor, the I X think, factor. for Adelaide City. He can, he can certainly uh, play well on this beautiful grass here at the uh, Cooper Stadium and uh, Anthony Costa as well up front. We all know how good Anthony Costa is and he can certainly put those goals in the back of the net. Damien Murray is the coach uh, on the bench for the Adelaide City team is number 13, Matthew Jones, 14, James Boffer, 19, Ante Makulic, uh, 21, and Dominic Yule. Our reserve goalkeeper is Luke Ospo. Today's, uh, well, tonight's referee for this uh, grand final is Daniel Cook. His assistant is Aaron Galanti. The other assistant is Samuel Kyes, and the fourth official boys is Gary Mooney. 2018 MPL South Australian Final Series is proudly presented by Borrell. Tonight's grand final, Campbelltown City have had the wood over Adelaide City this season, and Adelaide City wanting to right some wrongs in the last two. Is it third time lucky for them? Let's go around the table, starting with you, Mr. Pepperchelli. Oh, you started with me yeah. straight away. Uh, Do you want to yeah. go last? I like the Adelaide City's game. Yeah, uh, I would like to go last, actually. Okay, Ryan, go let's, let's go to Ryan for some uh, expert opinion. Ooh, expert. I don't know if this is going to be expert. This is a, more of a 50-50 bet. <laughs> <laughs> their, their, their qualifying game between them, it went neck and neck, nil-nil in, in the first leg. Second leg went all the way to 120 minutes. Adelaide City played man down. Kemptown got, mm. got the one-nil win. This is going to be the same. It's neck and neck. You can flip a coin between these two teams. I think it's Adelaide City year. I think it's third time lucky for the Ooh. black and whites. Okay, let's go down to our boundary rider. Thanks to Dry Creek Auto Records, Andrew Spur. Are you going to put your neck out on the line? Oh, always. <laughs> always. Oh, I've been backing Adelaide City for some time, so mm. nothing's changed my mind. Third um, time lucky, you think? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, we've been privy, you know, lucky enough to be here and, and watch those games, and they really didn't do very much wrong at all. It's not as if they, you know, didn't perform on the big stage or anything like that. It's just things didn't go quite their way, and they got pipped a couple of times. So I just like the way they've sort of come about it. Um, I know Kostopoulos is, is a big loss for him. It worried me last week, but seeing that they've put Buko down there, mm. um, you know, Casabore gets in, gets in amongst it. Uh, you was, you know, good in the second half last week. If he mm. can play 90 minutes tonight, uh, it's going to be a great game. They're two fabulous sides, beautifully coached. Uh, it's going to be a cracking game, but Adelaide City for me. OK, I'll um, leave Mr Pepper last then, and I'll, okay. I'm going for Campbelltown tonight. I'm going to go with the stats, and I'm going to go for the all-round goal-scoring potential Campbelltown have. And mm. I'm also going because of their depth on the bench as well. I, I did say Adelaide City last week with the 11 that they had against Metros and it came to fruition. But I just don't know, as you, the boys have touched on, they've gone the distance, these two teams, so I'm going for Campbelltown. Yeah, Campbelltown, yeah. I'm probably leaning towards Campbelltown as well, but the, the record that Maury's got, he's been with Adelaide City for 13 years. Unlucky for some. That Rob. is unbelievable. He's won four championships out of that and he's, he's become runners up in the few as well so it's going to be a big game for him but I just feel that Campbelltown like Paul said have got a bit more scoring power we know Dion Cork, Kirk could score goals Alex Mullen could score Mark Marino Luigi Detroit as well and Adam Pichonieri so there's a lot of goal scoring opportunity not forgetting uh, Ho Hohi Matsumoto as well can certainly get into the goals too so I think Campbelltown with the depth, with the reserves on the bench as well, they've got good depth. I think they'll be too strong for Adelaide City tonight. Okay, thanks for, Rob, for that, Rob. I think we'll just uh, 
be on standby because, of course, the national anthem will be coming up and we want to make sure we get that uh, covered. But a beautiful uh, picturesque Cooper Stadium here, High March Stadium, as our interstate overseas viewers might know it. Once again, welcome through Facebook Live, through YouTube Live, and, of course, if you can watch it through the FFSA .com.au website and for those taking the audio thanks to Adelaide Web Radio. Ryan what, what can we add to this tonight? There's a lot of nerves out there, former player how are they feeling at the moment do you think? Oh, it, you're going to be nervous if you don't have nerves then I don't think you're human um, so you're going to have nerves but it's the players that are going to be able to control their nerves and turn those nerves into 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 some good football Yeah, don't let the nerves turn into anxiety because you're going to be able to that anxiety will make you do things under pressure that you usually don't do, and they could be the vital moments in, in a game of football. Who's got more to lose tonight? Adelaide City, have they got a point to prove? Campbelltown? You know what, both teams have got After last year? No, I think, I think both teams have got a lot to lose. You come to the game, you come to the final, you don't want to lose. Campbelltown, yeah, first. Adelaide City, third time in the final, so they don't want to lose again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause for the national anthem. Claudio Miliaccio. Beautifully done. Absolutely beautifully done. Spells down there, boundary side. What's it like? What's the atmosphere like? Fantastic. Fantastic. That was a great rendition. And yeah, the two teams, you know, fully, fully focused. It's going to be going to be a terrific game. What's the ground like, too? Because you were on the Yeah, the really, the really nice. Really nice. As, very as per usual. Joey? Um, Slippery? A little bit. A little bit. Just, just naturally, I think. They haven't put any water on it. Uh, it's just, just naturally a little bit dewy and typically of, uh, of this magnificent uh, pitch. You know what I say, Spelzy? This what? pitch is made for grand final day. Mm. It is in perfect, <laughs> absolute perfect condition. Oh, You've got is. a little bit of dew for that ball to, to, that, to skid off that surface to allow your fast players to get on the end of nice through balls, beautiful skills. It is made for an absolute ripper grand final against the two most consistent teams You're right. of the season. So it is like, let's do this. The crowd, I'm looking, there's so many people here. I'm like booming her right now. I'm excited. <laughs> I think he's going to get the boots on right and make the big comeback. I'm on. I'm out there, boys. They're, on, they're on the deck up above you as well. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So there's a, there's a few people here, which is fantastic. Probably grown to about 6,000, looks like. Oh, lovely. I reckon. It's through the gate all day, yeah. yeah Absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. think so. Yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, last year's, if you remember, the controversial game last year with Croydon and Adelaide City Croydon champions from last year, not in this year's grand final. But can Adelaide City turn that around and win today's grand final? I don't think so. I think Camptown will be slightly too strong. Okay, it's all thanks to Borrell, the South Australian NPL grand final night here, Saturday night at Cooper Stadium. Campbelltown hosting Adelaide City. For those of you watching Campbelltown in their traditional all red strip and Adelaide City in their traditional black and white strip. It's going to be uh, action packed. These two teams, one and two on the table. They finished in the season proper. And of course, Campbelltown with 54 goals, four and only conceding 24. Adelaide City very close behind them with 52 goals scored, but conceding 19 only. Five less, but they were five points behind them on the table as well. Is that going to count for anything? Well, we're about seconds away from finding out as the captains now, Matty Halliday, Ian Fife going for the toss. They're doing the toss, but not in the traditional middle of the ground. I didn't think they did the toss in the middle of the ground anyway. Didn't they? I don't think so. No, nah, not even in World Cup, though, they? Oh, really? they were right in front of the cameras. Uh, yeah. right. You're always <laughs> wrong, Robbie. You're always wrong. Don't forget, if it is extra time tonight, you can use the fourth sub. 
So you're it, happy about that, aren't you? If it is a draw after full he's time, gonna go he's going to go on for a obviously, long time. Obviously, it's 15 minutes each way, and if it's still a draw, it'll be penalty shootout. Who we got on the Facebook there, Rob, making comment. Uh, plenty through Facebook Live. Uh, Adam Howard says hello. Also, Barry Watson, Peter Kehoe, Go Adelaide City, Pasco Hatze Banalusis, and uh, pa yeah, also Nick Crawford. Hey, hey, man. Okay. So lots of uh, people commenting on the Facebook Live. It's on the Football Federation's Facebook page if you do want to comment. If you want to watch the game also, it's on YouTube. So NPL SA TV, you should be able to pick it up uh, tonight's game. Magnificent game. If you want to listen to the game, you can listen to it on the Adelaide Web Radio website. That's adelaidewebradio.com. Uh, can I just put a little omen out there to Adelaide City? They've always come in the last finals as favourites. They've come in as the yes. home side, and they've always been on that bench. Federation Cup final, or the FFSA qualifying to the FFA Cup, the, the grand finals, all winners have been on the bench on the right-hand side of the TV screen. Wow. So if that's an omen, I'll put that out there. It may be the black oh. and white season. Tear us apart. It's got the clock going down. Who they boo? That means there's more support. Who they just boo? They booed, them. They booed us, boys. They booed us. Guys, we can get the screen on there. Oh. We're just about in readiness. Thanks to Borrell, the grand final NPL South Australia live from Cooper Stadium. And we're away. And it's Campbelltown kicking to right of screen. And it's Matthew Mullen straight away going to the far side. They're just getting a feel of the ball in Fife, the captain for the Campbelltown Red Devils. Nicholas Buckle applying the press, keeping Campbelltown in their own defensive half. Nerves, I'm sure, are plenty. Alex Mullen, good turn, centre circle. Comes grandstand side, just over the halfway line now. Matsumoto tried a one two, almost came right. off. Reno in the box, but coming to do some good tidying up is all right. And should clear the danger for Adelaide City under a little bit of pressure. So Adelaide City in the old tradition, black and white stripes. As mentioned uh, first, boys, but on the pre-game show, Joel Allwright has taken his position in, in that centre-back position yeah. as per last week. And Campbelltown in the all red strip. Attacking to the right of the screen, uh, watching it live. Obviously Campbelltown, uh, Adelaide City kicking towards the left. So Campbelltown with possession at the moment. Captain Fife. Goes all the way back to Nicholas Harper. It's good to get a touch early for the keeper. As he's got the ball on the ground. Does go right-hand side of the park. Looking for Matsumoto. Got up for a little fella. Almost out-headed uh, the play there for Adelaide City in Scotty Nagel. Rowan, grandstand side. Matsumoto finds Pichonari. Looking sharp. Campbelltown at the moment. They've got the ball through Mullen. Alex Mullen. Goes short to Detroit. Back to Mullen it goes. So Campbelltown into attack. Trying to find a way through. They're pushing it around. Captain Fife. Goes to Dion Kirk. Looking for the overlap there. But in the way is Joel Allwright. Allwright over the halfway line. Campbelltown in the middle of the park with possession of the ball. Pichinari goes backwards. He's come with Sean Harvey now. Grandstand side. Matsumoto next in line. Goes for a bit of a gallop. Costa there in attendance and wins the ball. Well done to Costa. Of course, that is the Joey type. Quickly taken throw in. Matsumoto, Campbelltown. Playing it short. Harvey back to Matsumoto. Wants to take on the defender, but Nagel did well. Goes back to Halliday. Clears up to the halfway line. Ooh. Costa with a high foot. Yep. And seen by the referee. First free kick of the evening. First free kick on the Chemist King Hectorville stats board. Captain Cook right on the spot there, oh, referee. I was ready for that one too, Robbie. You've gone early with a couple. <laughs> Daniel Cook is the referee today. Obviously win the Referee of the Year award. I'm not forgetting that uh, the awards night, October 6th it is. Next month as Campbelltown just pushing it around. I don't think LA City have been passed over that halfway line, really, as it goes to Campbelltown still, pushing it around. Pichonari, goes right-hand side to Harvey. Matsumoto, oh, cleverly done. Back to Harvey it goes. Chance for Campbelltown to get across. And they've won themselves the first corner kick here at the Cooper Stadium. 
it's like last week, boys. Adelaide City were a bit slow out the blocks the first 10, 15 minutes against Metro Stars, but then they worked themselves back in the game and then really dominated for the next, for the majority of the game after that. Gee, Matsumoto started on yeah, fire. It's a beautiful touch. But it looks like Mullen is really controlling that midfield there, Spelzi in the centre, doing he, what he usually does. Yeah, and Pichoneri sort of impressed. Corner kick high, very central, headed away from the Adelaide City goal mouth. But still Campbelltown with Detroit are now in possession of the ball. They've had probably 90% at mm -hmm. the moment. Now in the centre circle, Harvey looking for options. Goes to the far side, finds Detroit. Detroit now takes on Day into the box, has a Ooh, shot, and it's had to be saved because all right in the way impeded the vision of the goalkeeper there in Veach and the first save of the night, yeah, first goal attempt. That was going through. Nah, that was definitely a, that was definitely a cross into that front post, boys. That's but that's where you want those balls because any type of flick was going to cause Veach mm. a lot, a lot of dramas, and that's the ball that I know Andrew Sperling, our banjo rider, cries out every game. <laughs> So well, and also you saw Rawright right trying to get in on it too and a little deflection from him, so anything's possible with... So Matamoto goes all the way back to Halliday. Halliday can get the cross. It's a worm burner. Goes out trying to find uh, the play there. In Matty Mullen moved forward. That uh, free kick to Adelaide City. So the keeper will take it. Ryan Veach. Number one keeper all year this year. Ryan Veach. Luke Ospo's probably be on the bench 99% of the time this season. So Veach, just on the D, gets it over the halfway line in the way of the fence of Campbelltown. We go into attack in the way they Captain Halliday. Goes short to All Right. All Right looking for Yo. This is the excitement machine when he gets onto it. Always does something. He's got the ball. And good work by the Campbelltown Red Devils defence. Actually, they might have won themselves. They've got their goal, goal kick. kick. So that's OK from Valentino Yule. Five minutes in, but that's what you want your winger to do. Attack your fullback, even though you might make a mistake and it doesn't work out the first or second time. Keep going, because eventually the fullback's going to get sick of it. So Harpers now for Campbelltown. Comes grandstand side to Harvey. Campbelltown deep in their defensive half at the moment. Long searching ball forward. Nice little touch there. It will come off for him. Detroit running through the middle. Tries a little through ball there for Marino, but a bit too heavy. And the goalkeeper first to it for Adelaide City. Veach. So Veach releases. All right. Far side for Adelaide City. Looking up. Cut out by Mats Matsumoto. Chance for now Campbelltown. Gee, I don't know what happened there. A bit of a deflection. So they've won themselves a throw in far side of the ground, just forward of the halfway line. Overlapping run from Halliday. He's got a couple in the box if he can get it there. It's been cut out by Allwright from his defensive 18-yard box. Finds Castle Border, couldn't control it. Detroit takes it, lays it off for Mullen, looks for a runner. Very central. It finds its way to Kirk. Dion Kirk now, thought about it, tries to take on the player. It's come to Harvey. Grandstand side, near the byline. Harvey keeps it in. Tries to play at central, but Booker coming across the steal. Gee, it's all Campbelltown at the moment. It's Adelaide City trying to get something going. In the way was Matty Mullen. Over the sideline it goes. Grandstand side here at uh, Cooper Stadium. Just on seven minutes. Still nil-nil. Campbelltown, Adelaide City. As it goes over the sideline. Just in front of the grandstand. As it goes to Nagel. Buko knocks it on, goes to Costa. Joey Costa trying to find. Good that intercept. was a good ball, just uh, well intercepted there by Matty Mullen as uh, Harper sends it into attack. Trying to find Marina, but it's cut out by LA City's defence. Good challenge. They're under the pump at the moment. Joey Costa, Casabore, good little player, wins himself the free kick. Daniel Cook right on the spot. Free kick to Adelaide City. First foul conceded by City, right? No, um, by Campbelltown. Oh, second, second foul. Second foul. On Thanks. the Chemist King Hector, uh, Hectorville stats board. Just going back to Matty Mullen with that interception, boys. A good team is based on a solid defence, and Ian Fife and Matty Mullen have mm. formed a very good 
relationship as those two centre backs. So these guys, Halliday, beautiful through ball to Booker, but he's had the ball taken off him. Detroit coming deep to get some possession. Harvey plays it short to Mullen. Mullen plays it up the line. Halliday should intercept it, does so. Nagel now for Adelaide City. They're on the halfway line. Joey Costa, very tricky, very fancy, but effective. Corbo now in the middle of the park, goes wide. Day's the runner on the far side. Day looks up, what's on offer? Cheesy goes deep oh. into the box, just over Costa's Ooh. head there. Anthony Costa just needed a couple more inches. I just, Could I have just, brought the goalkeeper into play. I just gave Matty Mullen a good rap there, and he's just got caught ball watching, and he's allowed Anthony Costa just to roll off his shoulder <laughs> and have acres of space in the penalty box. Very lucky for him that that ball was just over Anthony Costa's head. Both coaches are vocal at the moment, uh, Spells? Uh, only one. Only one, Moran. <laughs> surprise, surprise. As the ball goes... With Campbelltown. How's your seven second delay down there, Spills? Goes, no, uh, no <laughs> you'll hear it. Turn me down. Goes to Detroit, Marino, to Mullen, Alex Mullen, clever player. Goes backwards to his captain, Ian Fife. Knows how to score two Fife. He's scored a few goals this season. As Corbo. Goes uh, short to all right. I like that position he's playing. He played that well last week, all right. In that stopper position, goes to Yol. Goes backwards to Shannon Day. There they go again, once again. Joel Allwright. Looking for support. Goes to Buckle. Try to go short to Yol. Got a touch to it, but they in the intercepted there. Campbelltown Red Devils. Trying to go into attack, but well run there by Joey Costas. Doing well. And right hand side, Adelaide City trying to go into attack. Day now up to the halfway line, far side of the ground, backtracks a little bit, so he goes back to all right. As Rob said, a fairly nervous start by both teams, probably more so Adelaide City. Campbelltown asking more questions. Day now with a long searching ball forward into the box, Yule's the runner, but a little bit too heavy to him, and that'll be a goal kick. So we've gone just over 10 minutes this first half, still no goals to report. It's the MPOSA grand final, thanks to Borrell. Live from the Highmarsh Stadium, or as it's now known, as you can see, Cooper's Stadium. So Harper's just puts the ball, six-yard box. Maury, uh, very vocal there with Buko to stay up forward. He's probably got that centre um, midfield tendencies to wander in the middle, and he doesn't want him up there. I Joe. sort of agree with Damien Murray there. It it's overcrowds that midfield area. LA City with control at the moment, uh, trying to get it, but the referee... Cook sees an infringement. Let's have a look at that. Anthony Costa was a little bit... Handball, was it? Mm -hmm. right. That wasn't the foul. The kick here, boys. Here comes the foul. Mm. Interesting. So throw in Adelaide City. Pichonari. Wave play on. Good refereeing. As they go into attack. Matsumoto. It's exciting when he's got the ball. He goes inside the box. Goes one way, then the other. Can he get a shot on? He's trying to do a pirouette. Does a pirouette. And loses the ball in the end. You can try to go on his own, didn't he? He did, and you can see Louis Detroit there. He just threw his hands up in the air because he didn't make himself available on the top of the box there. Matsumoto, all he had to do was just ladder across the box, and it really gave Louis Detroit a great sh opportunity on goal. He's he's tried to turn back, and he's caused himself some trouble. Pishinari, all right, spells down there. Looks yeah, hobbling. Yeah, he's all right. There's a bit of a stinger there by Bradley Bradley Corbo. It's what you want from your holding midfield. Let those mid other midfielders know you're there. Lot of clearance from Veach. Day and Matsumoto go at it. Go, go, go! Corbo gets his head to it. Day's got it at his feet. Nice turn, Day. On the halfway line, Adelaide City. He's got some attention from Mullen, who wins the ball. Oh, Fancy done. footwork. Oh, Comes to Pichoneri. Chips the ball forward. Offside, offside flag mm -hmm. is up, Rob. Caught it beautifully. Marino in the offside position. First offside of the game going to Mark Marino on the Chemist King Hectorville stats board. So a free kick to Adelaide City, taken by the keeper, Ryan Veach. Just goes short to all right. He goes into attack. Deep into attack, looking for Booker. Also there, foul. Costa. Adelaide City winning the ball. Yule. Trying to get to it. Does it. Loses it. So it's been all Campbelltown, I feel, in this game so far. As it goes to Detroit, he goes in board, looking for Marino. Goes No, this is Marino now. Pichonelli to Marino. Chance for Campbelltown. Oh, Gee. Kirk. Fresh airy ends up enterprise? with Matsumoto though. They go backwards. Halliday gets the cross. No one there though. Adelaide City will clear it. And they go all the way back. Campbelltown with possession. Doing it well so far. 
and it's Matty Mullen goes into attack looking for the play there Marino and over the sideline for a throw in good opportunity by Campbelltown I think both teams have settled now it's getting a little bit more even in the possession Campbelltown with the ball at their feet grandstand side just forward of centre building up the stats Pishaneri now goes long and deep they look sharp, Campbell. Kirk yeah. couldn't control it. Yule says thank you very much for Adelaide City. Almost turned it over. Has turned it over, but now I think it's all right with a convincing clearance, but it's going to come back at him. Maybe not. Corbo in the middle of the park, under pressure. He's got runners either side, goes down the middle. And here's the excitement machine. Castle gets dumped after proceedings. No advantage. Yule, that could have been a foul. Castle with another chance, surrounded by red shirts. And Campbelltown come away with the day, come away from the danger. I think it was a fair bump. I think it, fair bump. Yeah, yeah. Robbie, Castle Robbie, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Jesus. The referee didn't call it. Let's have a look at this as a certain foul given here. This one, yep. That's a late trailing leg there, and a foul conceded by Adelaide City, getting a bit untidy. Had to go shoulder to shoulder, by the way. Wasn't more shoulder. <laughs> that was a bit of a shoulder barge. Barge. It's Campbelltown in the back lines. Goes to Harvey. Looking for the eye of the needle. Nice Got touch. it towards Marino. And they're <laughs> going to go dump him. He just, he just that. threw him into the ground. Get out of my way. Play on. As Adelaide City's got possession. Buckle. What can he do? Referee ways. Play on. And this is a free kick. Gee, they're attacking Castle Board, aren't they? Yeah. They're hitting him hard. Do you agree with that one, Rob? Yes. Yes, 100%. Just Detroit Tackle from trying. behind. Troy may be trying to unsettle the youngster who's a danger man for Adelaide City. He is. And they've probably, they've, knowing Joey Mullen, he's, they've, it, they've probably singled him out because he was our man of the match mm -hmm. last week um, and did cause Metro's it's a lot terrible. of problems. And so they're not roughing him up. They're just letting him know this is grand final day, buddy. Yeah, roughing him up. <laughs> Simple the, the youngster. <laughs> just sort of seeing if there's a, you know going to be some nerves. and That's true. He's doing all right. Joe Costa, the beautiful deep free kick. Day goes up, but the oh. keeper there in charge, Harpus, sporting the beautiful hot pink tonight for Robbie mm. as Campbelltown break. Through the middle now. Kirk, a nice little through ball, but probably a little bit too heavy. All right, goes back to his keeper, Veach, who clears under some pressure. Pishaneri gets lucky on that occasion. Comes to Harvey now. Just forward of centre. Campbelltown into attack. Detroyer near the byline. Two black and white shirts in front of him. Oh, Not Meg. Sure. Beautiful, but it's come to Adelaide City. Buckle has the ball at his feet. Goes back to Halliday. They should come out of trouble. So they go into attack. Chess it down well by, by Costa. Can find Yule. Does go right hand side. Valentino Yule likes to take on players. Got past one. Can he get the cross? Gets a nice oh. looking one. Too close to the keeper, though. And they quickly throw it out. Campbelltown play on instantly, don't they? Straight keeper, straight to the player. Detroit has got it. Goes short. Ooh, Marino wasn't ready for that one. It's come unstuck as Adelaide City. Left-hand side. Scotty Nagel. Looking for Booker. He won't get that one. Easily cut out there by Captain. It's not Captain. It's Matty Mullen, that is. What I've been watching, boys, is the fullbacks for Campbelltown push quite high. And that for that last break there for Adelaide City, Sean Harvey was caught out of position because they lost ball in transition. Adelaide City have to keep their eyes open because Scassa bore their breaks real quick on the transition and they weren't able to get the ball to him quick enough. Nagel now with a throw in for Adelaide City. Into attack, grandstand side. Aerial ping pong at the moment comes down to feet. Booker says thank you. Go central to Yule. Tip of the box, Ooh. turns and shoots. That's Charged good. down yeah, by going. Fife. That's a more talk. Comes away with it. You're putting that down as a goal attempt. Definitely right? a goal attempt. Ah, definitely interesting. Goal Yule attempt. plays it today. He's <laughs> changed his tune. It's a he's definitely. Sent, centers it and turns it over. Mullen comes away with it for Campbelltown, but he's only got one red shirt up front. Marino, now he's got some charges coming through. Kirk from the Enterprise plays it to Detroit. Right hand attacking side gets a dangerous ball in, and Halliday gets his head to it. And Adelaide City come away with it. Good game so far here at uh, Cooper Stadium. Oh, bad Formally turnover. High Mar Stadium as uh, Matsumoto. Alex Mullinji, clever passes, a chance for Campbelltown. Detroyer goes short, 
Marino goes back to Detroit, back to Kirk. Kirk with a shot. Deflect oh, great save. save. Save of the year. Great save by the keeper. It save deflected. The there was a deflection. It was going in and great save. And that's, wow. That's why it's the save of the year because of this deflection. Watch this on the replay. Great shot. Oh, don't freeze on me now. Oh, oh here we go. Take two. No. Here we go, boys. Just lucky that deflection kept on the same path. Gee, Whoa. Was that almost a double deflection, boys? Mm -hmm. Could have been. Could have been. See this in super slow. One, two. I yeah, reckon it, it was been. a double deflection. Yeah. What a save. Great, great footwork there by so, and, uh, Ryan V. Matsumoto with a corner kick. Counter on fire at the moment. As the uh, oh. punch away goes back to Matsumoto. Trouble for Adelaide City. They're under the pump. They're trying to clear it somehow. And that confirms it with that clearance. All right. Couldn't keep it in. It's a throw on the far side. Oof. That's the goal attempt of the game so far for Campbelltown. Some might say unlucky not to be in front at the moment. Sure shocked Adelaide City as the ball comes in again. But Adelaide City defence up to it. This is Castle Border going for a run. Will he beat Mullen for speed? Mullen brings him down. Legal, says the referee. Well, Harvey... To Detroit, Campbelltown in their own half. Defensive, that is. Matthew Mullen, short to Sean Harvey. Short to Detroit, right on the halfway line. Switches the play to the far side, asking a lot of Matsumoto. And that's out of play throwing. It's all Campbelltown uh, spells. Do you feel that as well? Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, both wow. teams are playing well, but, uh, you know, just right across the board, Campbelltown, everyone has just started on fire for them. It's a uh, ball in the middle of the park now. Kirk, short, Mullen. It's the Alex type, centre circle, plays it short to Detroit. She tried a three ball, but Jay Costa read it best. Releases Booker now. They're up to the halfway line, or almost Adelaide City. Under pressure is Booker, but did well to keep possession. Oop, too Needs much. some help. He's beaten two and three. He's done very well, but not much movement ahead of him. Now he plays Yule right. wide. Yule now, the 23s go at it. Yule attacking the byline. He's got the speed. Has he got the cutback? Holds it up. Lays it off. Here's a chance oh. for City in the box. Turning one way, then the other. Costa has the ball taken off him. And pressure relieved momentarily. So Campbelltown have got the ball. What a game. What a game. What a grand final so End far. Stuff. As Adelaide City with the ball. Captain Halliday. Goes short. Casabore. As it goes uh, to Joey Costa. Back to Casabore, the youngster. Doing well. Joey Costa. Goes short. Corbo. Bradley Corbo goes even further right. Shannon Day. All right. Can he get the cross? Gets it deep. Looking for Costa. Up went the Campbelltown plays. They do clear it. In five, the captain. Looking for Marino. Just couldn't quite control it. Goes, uh, Marino's looking at something. I was going to say, something. should be concentrating on the game. Yeah, there's a cross there by Adelaide City. Gone back to him though. Corbo's with it. Right hand side of the park it goes. Shannon Day to all right. Right in the centre of the ground it is at the moment. So it's Captain Halliday. Oh, got past one. Almost trouble, but uh, Corbo's got it. Look at the pressing by Kevin. Yeah, they're doing well, aren't they? Reminds me of Leeds. <laughs> it's Halliday. Can't <laughs> talk too soon. There's a case to Nagel. Chance for Adelaide City. Costa. Is that handball? It oh. is. And a free kick to Campbelltown Red Devils. Anthony Costa doesn't think so. And the referee just having a quick chat. Yeah, it looks like it in the replay. So what's Captain Cook saying? Leave it to me. I'll do the refereeing. You do the playing. So now... It's Nicholas Harpers. We've played almost 22 minutes this first half. The NPOSA grand final night, thanks to Borrell. Still nil-nil. These two can't be separated. And, gee, not too much, too many goals between them during their finals campaign. And Adelaide City now with some defending to do. As Harvey comes across to take the throw in. Grandstand side. Deep into attack. Is it Kirk or Marino under pressure? Marino. It's been cleared by the Adelaide City defence. Costa comes to retrieve deep. Has the ball taken off him and concedes the throw. So throwing quickly taking Campbelltown Red Devils. It's Detroyer. Marino. He's got three or four players around him. 
winning the ball. How oh, are they? Oh, Queen. Yes, he is. Oh. As they almost lost it. Booker's got it, though. Goes to Corbo. This is a great game. Goes to Shannon Day for Adelaide City. Corbo again. So back to Day it goes. Adelaide City have settled. This is better, yeah. Yep. Joey Costa. Playing keepies off at the moment, Adelaide City. All right. Goes into attack. Chance for Adelaide City. It's cleared, though, by Campbelltown. Not too far, though. Booker's got it. Day can get the cross. It's a deep one. Lurking in the back. Has a ball! Oh, oh I thought he was going for a shot there. but he, he was. was. I think he cut it back. Nah, definitely a great decision there by Casabal to the youngster. Just put it back. Put it back across the goal. Yeah, I think he was going across, yeah. 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 Nice deep ball. Angle against him. Tried his luck, the young fella. She was lucky. That's so what you want. Throw in taken here by Nagel. He's got the ball back again. Goes short. Casabore. Funny looking cross. Cut out there by Campbelltown. Marino does well. Goes in board to Alex Mullen. Holds on to it. Back to Motsumoto. So swips, switch sides. Just reloading try. again. It's Campbelltown. As they go to Fife, the captain. Well, not a good ball. This is Yo. Chance for Adelaide City. Yo can take one on. Take two on. And they've tackled him. They've won the ball, Campbelltown. They turn, they go into attack, left hand side, not a bad looking ball, but in the way it's Joel Ro all right, probably man of the match so far. Yes, all right, plenty of touches, long searching ball forward, but too close to the keeper. And Harper says, thank you very much with a quick release. As Rob said, they've been quick to release tonight. Oh, there's a, a blank and push by Castle Border. That's a little bit of frustration maybe by the youngster. He's had a bit of a tension tonight, and this might be a little bit of an even and upper. Five free kicks there for Campbelltown on the chemist King. King Hectorville stats boards to Adelaide City's three. So quickly taken Matsumoto now close to the byline. Castle board in attendance again has conceded another. It's got to be careful, youngster. It's mm. 25 minutes in. You're giving away a couple of silly free kicks. Silly, yeah. And then you might get booked pretty soon. So you've got to be careful now. Don't let the anxiety or the, the nervous energy and the frustration start getting the better of you. So take two for Campbelltown. A bit closer to goal, this one. This one's a more promising position. Played almost 26 minutes this first half. NPOSA grand final, thanks to Borrell. Campbelltown nil, Adelaide City nil. And now it's Pishinari with a free kick for Campbelltown. Should put it to where the penalty spot is with plenty of red shirts waiting. Missionary, good height on it. Very deep, though, too deep. But Detroit will tidy up for Campbelltown on the far side. Couldn't keep it in, according to the assistant. Poor free kick there, Paul. Poor mm. free kick yeah, there from Missionary. So, throwing on the far side, Adelaide City. Some activity on the bench uh, spells already. Oh, not really. Someone's going for a warm-up. Spells, just keep an eye on Mark Marino. A couple of minutes ago, he pulled up a little bit stiff just over the, just behind, oh, back in Adelaide City forward half. Maybe that's what he was pointing at before. As Campbelltown have got the ball, could be a free kick. No, wave play on. He's letting a bit go tonight, isn't he? Which is good. It's grand yeah, final. it's okay. Oh, so you change the rules. <laughs> <laughs> grand final, will let a bit more yeah, go. Yeah, why not? Matsumoto with the ball. Goes oh, past one. He's going to crack it. Oh, he's going to crack it from there. Should have, I thought. As uh, Campbelltown win the ball, they've given away a free kick, though. Now, I don't want to be harsh here, but that's not consistent. Look how soft this is. No, it wasn't soft. No? Okay. It's a free kick. What's wrong with you? No, that's okay. It's a game of opinion. <laughs> There's Campbelltown players starting to warm up now. So it's interesting just to see Mark Marino, how he lasts this rest of this half. He keeps looking over to Joe Mullen on the bench. Yeah, he's pointing, isn't he? He's not happy. He said he came back from injury, Rob. So it's all right with a long, deep free kick. Fife gets his head on it. So does Mullen. And now he's Halliday. Been, he's been back for three or four weeks, though. Back in boards, Alex Mullen under pressure. Book or good pressing. They go back to their keeper. Harpers with a clearance. And yeah, he no, gets it to the halfway line. I read he was uh, playing for his life, you know, playing for an A-League spot. Mm. You know, I can't. So looking up at, the, at your coach, you know, wanting to come off in 20 minutes in the first half would be doing too much. Just guts it out. That's right. They, they'll know. They'll take you off. <laughs> Have a listen to these hard nuts yeah. here. <laughs> well, you know, I'm sure there's A-league coaches thinking we don't want someone that, you That's know, soft. wants to put the white flag up. 
So it's Campbelltown that haven't definitely put the white flag up. They're asking the questions. It's a long, deep ball. Marino, the man in question, couldn't win that. She turned over by Nagel, but Costa did well to keep it alive. Corbo under pressure. Has an overlapping run from Nagel. Nagel up the line and ran out of loss. Still in. Castle bought it. Gee, getting yelled out by Mori. Ball still alive, son. Watch the game as Campbelltown in their defensive half. Good turn by Alex Mullen. Finds Ian Fife. Some experience there. Maddie Mullen. She interesting back pass to his keeper. Puts Harpers under a little bit of pressure. Gets the clearance finally up to the halfway line. Detroit, beautiful control as usual. Getting the attention from Day. Fife, Detroit. But Campbelltown still in their own half. So Detroit with the board goes short. Goes to Maddie Mullen. Short to Alex Mullen. Back to Marino it goes. He's got a chance. Try to go short to uh, Alex Mullen. But come on, Stark. Joey Costa. He loves to run. Goes trying to get De Yule on his run. way. Good ball by Costa. Finding Yule. Look at Booker by He'll try and take on the player. But good comeback. There by the Campbelltown Red Devils. That's Detroit back there? Yeah, mm. great tracking there by Louis Detroit as his fullback Jack Halliday got caught up the caught up the ground. But well defended there. I was thinking, Valentino Yule, you're up against a striker here. He's not a defender by trade. Get him in one in one, but very well defended there by Louis Detroit. So corner kick to Adelaide City number. First corner kick for really? Adelaide City to Campbelltown's two on the Chemist King Hectorville stats board. Beautiful. So corner kick on the far side. It's uh Shannon Day taking it, springs on a rack, he almost dropped it. Good pick up there by Harper. They quickly get rid of it. Looking for Marino, but this well. Guys played very well. Yeah. Man of the match. So far, so him far. and Bradley Corbo. I've really enjoyed Bradley Corbo's game in that holding midfield. The throwing quickly taken here by Harvey. Goes one way. Looking for support. Detroit. Goes backwards to Matty Mullen. Ian Fife, the captain for Campbelltown Red Devils, goes back to Matty Mullen. Finding uh, Harvey. Detroit. Looking promising. Good touch there by Campbelltown. Pishonary. Detroit. They're going to lose out. They do. As it goes to Book or Charts. If he can get the good pass, he does. He finds Yule. Yule with the ball, got past one. Try to go to Costa. Costa's controlled it. Back to Yule, it goes. He tries to go. He balks. He shoots. Oh. And it's come off the back of a Campbelltown player. As Adelaide City looking uh, promising here. Good As spell. Good tackle there. That's their second attempted shot, Adelaide City. And another crucial block by the defender there. Because that ball, that shot by Yule was definitely goal bound. Gee, Nicholas Booker, tip of the 18-yard box. He's probably thinking, what do I have to do to get these boys to pass it to me? Unattended too. Nagel now with a throw-in for Adelaide City. Grandstand side, well into attack. Still nil-nil. Ball into the box from the throw-in. Costa plenty of attention. Lays it off to Booker and cleared by Matsumoto. Up to the halfway line. Halliday couldn't get his head on it. Ooh. And good retrieving challenge. He's played well too. That boys, defense. are you enjoying tonight's game? Because Loving the stats board is showing one shot on target for Campbelltown to two it's attempted lively. shots. But that's not, the stats don't always tell the picture. Mm. They don't always tell the story because tonight's game is great. It's a ripper. It's all right. Be up there in the Claymore Wines man of the match. I know it's early. But cool. <laughs> <laughs> the first half. I know it's early. But he's played a ripper so far. So it goes to Halliday. Captain Halliday for Adelaide City. Goes into attack looking for Costa. Goes to Corbo. Nice. That's a boy there. Exciting youngster. Goes to Nagel. Looking for Buko. Working hard. Casabore once again. Day controls it. Adelaide City certain have settled after their first 10 minutes. It was all Campbelltown. Mm. It was Adelaide City. Virtually what they did against Metros, wasn't it? And they see it. And there's a free kick back against cool. Detroit. Oh, lucky not yeah. to be the first yellow of the game. Absolutely. I reckon the next challenge will. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Louis Detroit, very late and very cynical. Mm. 
Very lucky not to get a yellow card. As Adelaide City with the ball now through all right. Right in the centre circle. 33 just about gone in this first half. Still no goals to report. Very tight affair, but very exciting affair. Loose ball by Costa. Don't say that too often. Mullen ordinary clearance. Don't say that often either. Nerves are still maybe in this game a little bit. Good turn. Kirk now sends Marino on a run, but he's got Halliday hot on his hammer. Marino does well. Guarding the ball. Nice little flick. Show too much of it to Halliday in Adelaide City. Well, Marino in maybe a steal, but no. Halliday, cool, calm and collected to Castle Borde. Goes backwards. The hack forward now to Buko. Couldn't control it. Pishaneri steals it. Under pressure from Buko. Play on, says the referee. Kirk. Nice three ball to Mullen. Mullen turns. He's at the tip of the box, but surrounded by black and white shirts. And uh, ordinary clearance. He's turned it over to Detroit and Campbelltown still with a chance. So Campbelltown trying to get something going. Well done, uh, Buckle. Ball still hasn't gone out. Well done by Harvey there. As it goes to uh, Detroit, he's been busy. So two players on him. Just a quick oh, mention on Facebook. They're saying it's a poor crowd. You're seeing it wrong. The grandstand site is full, so it's about five to 6,000 yeah, people here at home at uh, Cooper Stadium. Only the Western grandstand has been open for tonight's yes, game, obviously. So this grandstand is full. That's Campbelltown now with the ball through five. Goes to the far side. Halliday inboard. Matsumoto, one-two with Halliday. Comes off. Who's there? Oh, good steal by Yule. And he'll come away with it for Adelaide City. That's right, Rob. Please don't be fooled by mm. the fact that the cameras are facing the east stand and the south and the north because all the people are here in the west and it's a great great cover on this west it is, grandstand it is good atmosphere on this uh, western grandstand so the boars with uh, adelaide city campbelltown winning it through mullen alex mullen detroyer playing a bit of a triangle there campbelltown as harvey been busy also mullen's been busy goes back to detroyer Looking for a short pass to Marino. Oof. She's doing well, Marino. Wins the hard ball. Doesn't look injured to me. Looking for someone. Looks a little bit proppy. There's Harvey. Gets it in. Cleared here by Adelaide City. Alex Mullen. Didn't quite get it. Yule's going to win it. So three players around him. Oh, good steal. Him. And well done, Matsumoto. And good steal again by yep. Yule. And Day has got it for Adelaide City. Been a great opening, one of the best openings I've seen for a while in a grand final. As Marino's oh, got the ball, yeah, that's a foul. And, uh, Booker goes in hard, but uh, concedes a free kick. Quickly taken, Matsumoto now to the byline, gets the cut back. Is that Kirk. Kirk back to Matsumoto, chips it into the box, stay under Ooh. pressure. Well done because Ooh. he had Halliday right behind him. And Shannon Day did very well to concede the corner kick there. I can tell you what stats board on the Chemist King Hectorville stats here is lighting up my page is the free kick count. There's seven free kicks for Campbelltown mm. and five free kicks for the Black and Whites. And we're only 35 minutes in the first half. Yeah, it truly, in, truly indicates the, uh, you know, how this is being played. You know, breakneck speed, second and third efforts from every player on the pitch. You know, it's just... Absolutely fascinating stuff at the moment. The question is, would this last for another 45 minutes in the I second half it. this pace? I doubt it. It's cold enough too. Matsumoto now just pulling up his socks on screen. Right foot in swinger. Watch Matty Mullen. Telling his charges to get in that box, stay in that box. Well weighted, very central. Keeper comes. Probably too close to the mm. keeper in the end. And a good take by Beach. Got a good corner as LA City run away with the ball. Right hand side. Joey Costa's been very busy. Back to Booker it goes. Day. Goes for a bit of a run. Controls, looks up. He's going to go on his own. Oh, Ooh, not that's too bad. a stinger. <laughs> not too bad, was it? He was dipping a little bit. First shot on target there for the Black and Whites. It took us 36 minutes, but it's finally done by Shannon Day. And what a stinger that was. Campbelltown controlling at the moment now. Harvey, Matty Marlin, and Ian Fife just pushing it around. No pressure at the moment. Playing keepies off. Maybe so the boys are a little tired. They've had a week's off. There's plenty of rest they had during the week. It's Fife trying to go into attack. All right again. Yeah, it's good. Costa! Offside. That's offside. Yeah. 
Good ball, though. Love to see this on replay. It'd be very close. He nah. worked off his shoulder well. Uh, the angle of the replay, the angle's not going to really tell us the yeah. true story, unfortunately. We, we haven't got the Fox Mate. 15,000 cameras here. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. Wow. The green line mm. you can see cutting the lawn cuttings. In fact, High Mush looking very good here tonight. It is. Have we mentioned the state of the pitch? Yes. Lawn, what sort of lawn have we got down there, uh, Don Burke? <laughs> Hey, Burke spells. Uh, well, it's a very good question. Cooch or something? A little bit of a mixture. Okay. Coochie cooch. <laughs> so Ian Fife now for Campbelltown. Still nil-nil. This grand final here, the NPL South Australia. It's all thanks to Borrell. Goes back now. Matthew Mullen looks up. Goes short to Halliday. Nice evasion there. Finds his captain Fife short. A few black and, shirts, black and white shirts around him. Kirk now tries a through ball. And a late challenge there. We'll see a foul going the way of Campbelltown. We'll see this on replay just to see if uh, how late it was. May not even be in screen. Should be in screen. Yes, it is in screen. Was it? Oh, what was that? Much, you know. <laughs> I don't think there was uh, anything in that by. Anyway. Quick ball again. Oh, Quickly taken free kick. Mullen now for Campbelltown in possession. Finds Harvey. Grandstand side. Goes deep. Marino turns. But Halliday read it better. Takes it to the byline, plays it up the line, but turns it over. Detroit says, thank you very much. Pishaneri, what can he do with it? Goes for the shot. And that's well over the bar, off target. Uh, Ralph Pinari on Facebook Live. Someone get medication for Marveggio in the commentary box. <laughs> <laughs> and credit where credit's Mate, is due. Is your friend, is it? <laughs> Go spells. Uh, Mark Marino, you know, I... Don't take back my words, but uh, big, big transformation in him in the last three or four minutes. He's put everything beside him, and he's just running and working his heart out up there for Campbelltown. He did Campbelltown. hear you, maybe. Did he hear you from he the... Might <laughs> <laughs> he might have. He might have. So the goal kick taken. Up goes uh, Alex Mullen. He's got it again. A short de Detroyer. Harvey to Fife. Good interception there by... Uh, and good challenge. Anthony Costa Definitely trying to find challenge. his brother. But a great challenge. Campbelltown coming away with it. Pishinari, he's got the chance. Goes to Detroyer. So Campbelltown looking good at the moment. Trying to go to the line. Gets a nice looking uh, cross. Look nice. G5, he was up there waiting as well. As someone said at the start of the call that he's a goal scorer. Sneaky goal scorer. So we've played... Almost 41 minutes this first half of the MPL SA Grand Final. Thanks to Borrell. Campbelltown nil. Adelaide City nil. In a couple of better matched up teams, you'd be hard to find. There's speed versus speed. It's just brilliant. Very work skillful. rate versus work rate. Here come Adelaide City now. Nagel going on a charge. Oh, through ball, but only found five. He plays that to his defender, but they've turned it over cheaply. Corbo says thank you very much. Booker under pressure, holds it up well, plays it central to Joey Costa. Joey Costa, through ball to Day, but gee, a little bit heavy. Did give up the ghost may, maybe a little early, but uh, probably was never going to get there, in fairness. And Nicholas Harper's wearing Rob's Saturday night attire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out after you. Oh, with that, I'm sure. <laughs> so right-hand side, Campbelltown, Red Devils, Marino, Detroyer. Harvey goes backwards to Matty Mullen. Pushing it around at the moment. Fife goes even further left. Halliday. Back to Fife it goes. So again, Campertown just pushing it around. Waiting for an opening. And they go to Pushinari. Finds Detroit. Harvey looking for support. Goes backwards. Matty Mullen switches play. Halliday. Got a big job on you tonight. Switches it back to Matty Mullen, it goes. Harvey, they've had about 20 touches without the opposition touching it. Now they all get it. Adelaide City, straight to Harvey though. Alex Mullen turns on it quite nicely. Try to get the one-two from Marino. Gee, uh, sandwich between two players. Oh. Not happy with that. Well, he was, he, yeah, watch this. He on was the referee. Of course, he was grabbed. How can you right in front of the referee? I know it was a little bit 50 50, but yeah, referee oh, caught it. So, yeah, absolutely. So, Adelaide City now with a free kick have not beaten Campbelltown this season, just quietly in the back of your minds. All yeah. right, 
with a long searching ball forward. Finds Yule on the far side. Did well to control that under pressure. Joey Costa comes to lend support. Too heavy on the touch. Matsumoto gets it. Holds it up. Campbelltown now a bit slow in the build up from defence. Matsumoto to five. Turns it over. Costa Yule. Imports a book of being held. Play on, says the referee. Corbo now. Still an attack, Adelaide City. Overlapping run coming. Good no, time. he goes down the middle to Costa. Penalty. Oh, that could be a penalty. It, it is. is. Well, I'd like to see this on Ooh. replay, but I suppose it was a clumsy challenge. Definitely in the box. Nice through ball. Costa turns. Tip of the box. Inside. And his feet taken from him. Referee, no option. Points to the spot. When you are 10 Close. years old, boys, what is the first thing a coach tells mm. you? You mm. think Stay I can remember that far on back? your feet. <laughs> as a defender, especially in the penalty box. And wow. Manny Mullen didn't do that Just right. inside, I Clear penalty. Mm. VAR definitely doesn't need to be brought into this situation or scenario. That time, is a penalty. Well, right at the stroke of half time. All right, it's going to take it. So, Joe, all right, over the ball. Can he put Adelaide City ahead? Can uh, Nicholas Harper save it? So, all right, to make it 1-0, just on the stroke of half-time. All right, with the penalty kick, he's hit the crossbar! Oh, he's missed it! A let off for Campbelltown, they're going into a counter-attack too. They're going into attack, Marino's got it. Left-hand side, still got it. He's going to crack it. It's ended up with uh, Mullen. Now Campbelltown, Sweet. LA City going to clear it. They've hit the crossbar and the penalty. A let off for Campbelltown Red That's Devils. That's half time. That's half time. And what a climax to that first half. That crossbar still rattling, boys. Well, that they... was hit with some venom. That's not half time, is it? It's 44. Which watch has he got? Swiss. He's got a what, 44 and 20 seconds. I don't know. Spells will do well to get someone down there. High tension, psychological. Demons coming. Sorry, mate. But the referee's looking at his watch three times then. He's made a mistake. He's, he's caught the first half too early. Especially after having... Here we go, down the spells. Yeah, I got Fifey with us. Pretty tight first half, Fifey. It was good. Uh, it's a good first half by both teams. Um, I think we started really well. Something we wanted to concentrate on. In the first 10, 15 minutes, I think we had them. Then they came back into the game. They showed their quality. But, uh, look, uh, we, we got away with a little, little bit there at the end with the missed penalty. But we'll go inside. We'll regroup. I was going to say it was either going to be a stroke of luck or a stroke of brilliance and I suppose we could put one either either side of it but uh, boy oh boy probably deservedly nil all at half time yeah classic game great game great game enjoyable so you can tell the, the players are enjoying it you know we, we just have to focus on our defensive structure and then having that quality in the final third well done Ian Thanks very much. have a quick break mate well done Spells sure. and uh, those those mental demons are going to come into play Rob that could just be the psychological edge that if they even needed at Campbelltown just a little bit of a bonus there uh, Ryan will get some half time stats before we uh, take our break Doesn't at half time Book or normally take their penalty yeah I was surprised to see Joel yeah. alright step up but anyway oh well. we'll go on to the stats thank you to Chemist King Hectorville great sponsors all year shots on target for both teams is one apiece shots off target two for Campbelltown Town, none for Adelaide City. Two attempted shots, both of them by Valentino Yule for Adelaide City. Zero for Campbelltown City. The thing that lit up my scoreboard, uh, my stat sheet, sorry, was eight, four free kicks for Campbelltown Red Devils to seven free kicks for the black and whites. You can see that this game has just been about intensity. It's been about pressure <laughs> and that's what this first half has delivered. The score, the stats on the shots haven't really told a story of what we've witnessed and watched this first half. One corner to Adelaide City, three corners to Campbelltown and one offside apiece. What a first half. I'm looking forward and to all those second. comments on the Facebook Live saying the referee needs a new watch. Yeah. What kind of watch has he got? So well, when he, he blew it on 44 and 10 seconds. The, the, uh, when the penalty was given, uh, Gary Mooney came out and put the one-minute sign up. So They've got it wrong. I'm sorry. Well, the, yeah. the scoreboard here. And our time clock here. Our time clock and the, uh, the ground scoreboard are both uh, In sync. 44. So I reckon he's uh, shortchanged the well, boys. Well, it got uh, to everyone, huh? You know what happened? <laughs> you know what happened? To the, what the happened? captain. 
<laughs> Rob Pepicelli gave him the Duracell batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Don't not Duracell. How no. many times has Paul ever to tell you? On that silly note, we're going to take a break here at halftime. It's NPL SA Grand Final Night, all thanks to Borrell. We go in with a missed penalty. Adelaide City still have not beaten Campbelltown this season. It's nil-nil. We'll be back shortly. Thanks for coming out to replace my battery. No worries. It's all part of our service. We come to you anywhere, anytime, and installation is no extra. No way. Way? You get more. Call us or go to raa.com.au.
can you tell him? Okay, come on. What's this? Apparently, it was an epic jump. Smashed right through the laundry window. What? But your RIA home insurance covers accidental glass breakage. Oh, yeah, right. We do more. Get a quote today. Seven, eight, nine. Yes, welcome back to the Highmarsh Stadium or Cooper's uh, oh, Stuart. What uh, are you guys doing? Has anyone seen the movie Dumb and Dumber? It's playing here tonight at Highmarsh Stadium. I've just, see it there? I've, just I've just put on Rob's uh, glasses. Jesus. And he dropped it. Of course. And it's, got, it's that blurry. It just showed me his eyesight is shocking. Spells, what have you left me with up here, mate? Oh, I'm pretty happy I'm down here. Is Come it? on, you two. Hey, Spelty! <laughs> hey, Look right, at that buddy, shine you. straight on your head, buddy. <laughs> Looking good for Grand Finals. Yes. Oh. You can hear us, can't you? Yeah. You can hear yeah. us like that. All clear. Okay, so the players have made their way back onto the park. Spells, I don't know if you can see, note any changes down there. Uh, none, none that appear, not all the boys that were 
all warming up, so no, no changes, and before probably, probably nor should there be. Before kickoff, though, spells. What do you reckon the both coaches, being on right next to the both benches, what do you reckon both coaches would have said to their troops at half time? Well, that's a, you know an awfully good question. I, I can't really answer that one. Probably my thoughts are that uh, it's just with the Bucco thing, playing up forward, and he's got this tendency to sort of. Uh, you know, want to move up the park a little bit and not entirely play the position that uh, I think City are asking him to do. So, you know, that's going to be pretty interesting. And, uh, you know, whether him and uh, Joey Costa or whether he makes a slight tweak um, in the forward. But, uh, boy, oh, boy, I can't believe that Adelaide City didn't score that penalty. And you know what? They needed to go, have everything go their way. Second half is underway, and it's Adelaide City kicking to the goal at our right of screen. Let's hope the referee, Captain Cook, has changed his watch. Actually, you might want to ask the fourth official down there, Spells, was there any error made with the time? They're probably not going to admit the error, but anyway. Of course they wouldn't. As Cam down turn, trying to get uh, into attack. They are attacking towards the left of the screen. You're watching this game. Soft free kick given there. On Facebook Live, the Football Federation of SA's Facebook Live page or the YouTube MPL SA TV you should be able to pick up the game and how the first half went boys that's the first free kick 28 seconds in on the chemist king Hectorville going to Campbelltown so Campbelltown Campbelltown with the ball Matsumoto at a reasonable first half goes back to Harvey looking for Kirk beyond Kirk just couldn't quite get there but uh, Adelaide City through Yule Halliday trying to get there too. Marino goes short to Pishinari. Campbelltown finding Halliday. Slips over. And uh, Day clears the ball. Only as far as uh, the captain of Campbelltown here on five. As it goes. They're pushing it around neatly once again in the second half. Alex Mullen trying to turn does turn and it goes over the sideline for a throw in in no means trying to read anyone's mind Ryan but if I was Damian Murray I would say forget about that penalty miss because I'm sure that would play on their minds 100% and Joe Mullen just more of the same 100% throw in taken here by Halliday finding Alex Mullen trying to find an opening nice cross there chance to Campbelltown oh. it's the first goal Matsumoto scores for Campbelltown so Campbelltown take the lead here at uh, Cooper Stadium, great ball by uh, Detroyer. Detroyer. Great ball finding Matsumoto in the back post, and that's goal number one. Let's what have a look at this on the finish, replay. Eh? A beautiful assist there by Louis Detroyer. Matsumoto beautifully read, great definitely show. onside. Great touch there. A few sleeping defenders uh, from Adelaide City. Hands on the head. Too late ball in the back of the net. Beautiful goal. Fantastic goal. Matsumoto, 1-0 Campbelltown up. Inexperience there by the younger Casabolda. He's got to learn from that. That's his play. You cannot let a player get on the wrong side of your shoulder. Unfortunately for the youngster, all credit to that. Beautiful ball, great finish, but that's the youngster to blame. What Poor a defending. Great ball by Detroit. How will Adelaide City respond now? 1-0 down, missed penalty. The demons are really coming out now. How he didn't get a contract at Central Coast and you saying Bolt's getting one? No, I don't think you saying Bolt's going to get it. 10,000 people at that game. Anyway, it's Adelaide game. City on the attack, but it's Campbelltown that come away with it. As Detroit with a beautiful assist. Day chasing back. Big challenge now for Adelaide City. 1-0 down. Haven't beaten Campbelltown all year. And the grand final defeat staring at him in the face. And Spells, you happy to see Marino still on the park? Oh, that's a bit of a dodgy throw in, but... Uh yeah, no, look, and, and I actually saw a couple of Adelaide City heads drop a little, which was... Uh, Understandable. A, yeah, a little unusual. They probably thought, wow, you shouldn't be behind. Yeah, I was going to say Costa could have won a free kick there. They are behind. That's the fact of the matter. Mm. They have a free kick. Closer to the centre line than to their goal line. And it will be a day to put this deep into attack, it'll be the tip of the 18 yard box. So Day for Adelaide City with a free kick, trailing one nil, gee, he goes sideways to all right. Will he go from distance? No, he doesn't, Costa leaves it for Day. 
Angle against them, gets a nice cross into the box. Free header, laid go. back for Booker. Oh. Bad volley oh, off the too. side of the boot. That's a goal kick. It fell beautifully to him, didn't it? Mm, he knows that too. Whew. So Campbelltown leading 1-0. Great uh, goal there by Matsumoto. A beautifully worked free kick there by Adelaide City. It was a little bit too far out to float that ball into the box. Beautifully worked um, and to able to give them that missed opportunity there by Nicholas Bucco. Should have gone in at 1-0 up. LA City missing a penalty. They find themselves two minutes later in Gee. the second half. 1-0 down. Got to play As it mind. goes to the trier. He's a chance for Campbelltown again. He's in the box. Here's a shot. Great save save by the keeper. A follow-up by Halliday. Can't get to it. Yo. Gee, Campbelltown. They've been good since the start. Professional type foul there by Alex Munnett. Mullen, he knew he straight away when he did that to Valentino Yule. He got up on his feet and ran away before the referee could catch him with, with a yellow card. Quickly taken free kick. Halliday for Adelaide City now. Ball in the middle of the park. Joey Costa goes short to Bookhawk. They have to respond. They have to attack. There's no draws here tonight. And there's no next week. Corbo just forward of centre. Plays it to all right. Under pressure. Good chasing. Still have it, Adelaide City, through Costa. Finds Bucco. Threading the eye of the needle, finds... Oh, high foot from Mule. Play on. Ooh. Volley from Costa. Oh. Just wide. <laughs> Look good. <laughs> Looked very good, very close. Could have been a free kick before that. Watching on the replay there. Mule heads it down, Costa. Quick volley, just wide yeah. of the upright. And a goal attempt gone, begging for Adelaide City. Would have been a great response. Um, I'm glad that that free kick wasn't given because players put their heads down. As soon as you put your head down, it's a game of football. You use your feet. It wasn't a high foot. But when you put your head down, you're going to put yourself in danger. And I'm glad that that free kick wasn't given. So Nicholas Harpers takes the goal kick over the halfway line. It goes back headed there by Alex Mullen. He's been very good too. As it goes up in the air, trying to clear it is Adelaide City. Captain Halliday finds Casabore. Cut out there by the defence. Harvey's been good too tonight. As they go, Kirk. Went short. Pichonari. Actually, this is Mullen. Now he finds Kirk. Kirk with the ball. Gets a ball going towards Marino. A good uh, interception there by uh, Allwright. She poor turn. It goes over to Kirk. Straight to Kirk. Play goes down. Not some more talk. Got dumped. And referee says no, no. Play on. What have we got that on the replay? Just off the ball there. I think it was just clumsy Boys, collision of bodies. I know it's only 52 minutes in, but this is going to be the problem for Adelaide City. If you have a look at their bench, who are they going to bring on now to change a game? Ah, and that's what we that's said. That's what we said, yeah. In our tips and why we tipped the way we tipped. Mutsumoto trying to win the corner and does. But your tips could have been wrong or we could be talking something different. Well, you're the one going if that penalty, <laughs> If that penalty went in, but what I'm trying to say, if. I know we talked about oh, those tips. Good so remarks about Dominic Yule, the brother. Yeah. He's a striker, so you never they're, know. They're inexperienced. 100%. Now they might shine on the stage. That's why we went That's for That's what we Matsumoto now, right foot out, swing it. Goes to the penalty spot. Five gets his head on it. Illegally, says the referee. So that'll be a free kick to Adelaide City to relieve the pressure. Oof, take a breath here because it's been pretty fast pace game. That's why maybe this A-League should revert back to a winter sport. We have calm winters yeah. here in Australia. And the Spot Bosnich on. suggestion is a good suggestion. Because we have some very hot summers. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. Somebody said if we can replay the goal, but uh, we've got a little bit of time. Maybe it was an injury. Jimbo, if you can remember where the goal is. 47th minute, Jimbo, as Matsumoto steals the ball. They're hungry, Campbelltown. They want to put this to bed. They already lead 1-0. We've played eight and a half minutes this second half. There's a South Australian NPL grand final, thanks to Borrell. So throw in taken here by Adelaide City. Can they get back into this game? Campbelltown oh. goes to Marino. Marino's going to have a crack. Good tackle there. Jeez, played well. All right. By all right. Oh, yeah. Anything wrong he did, he's missed a penalty. Goal attempt there, boys, for Campbelltown. Absolutely. So yeah. it'll be a throw in on the far side. There you go, for that person on Facebook wanting the goal. Look at the beautiful assist by Detroit. Matsumoto, beautifully read, beautiful oh, volley. Great goal. Great finish. Back Perfect to the live pass. action. Matsumoto, the goal scorer. Two black and white shirts in front of him. 
can't win. Castle Borde now centers the ball for Buko. Poor on the first touch, but better on the second. Joey Costa under pressure, goes wide. Nagel goes long. Costa the target heads it down, but Fife says thank you. Finds Detroyer. Detroyer in his own defensive half. Support from Harvey goes wide to Matsumoto. Back to Harvey. Harvey back to Mullen, the Matthew type. He comes grandstand side. Hospital ball for five feet. Did well. And, well, according to the referee, won the throw, and according to the linesman, didn't. But guess who won that debate? Thanks for the goal on the Facebook page. So you are Shubo all the way from delivers. Perth. All the way from Perth. Thank you. That person, Justin Sponge Taylor. As it is with Adelaide City now, Lake. That's first, first card. Like card. That's frustration. To Nicholas Bucco. No, that was Costa. Costa. Yep. Costa, sorry. Let's have a look at that on the replay. Oh, sliding. Oh, yeah, pretty ugly. Sliding. Up. Yep. Probably couldn't pull out of it. Gee whiz. And that. Ooh, it, what, what's Mullen that's hurt. What's Alex the, Mullen? Yep. The, the yellow card, yeah, it was sliding 50-50 ball, but it's the studs. Once you show studs, you're going to put yourself in danger of getting a yellow card, let alone a red card. Jeez, so he's still down, Alex Mullen. This would have been the ideal time to show the card to you, mate. But he did it anyway. It's all right. We've got it in time. We can show it again, mate. <laughs> Spells, well, what do you think uh, Damien Murray's going to be? What's Damien Murray shouting out? to his players down there. He's talking to Valentino Yule a couple of minutes ago. He's now calling over Nicholas Bucco. What's he trying to tell his troops? Just about positioning, I think, and, and just playing the role that he, he wants them to play. I think, you know, as I said, Nick last week sort of sat back and was a, played a bit of a hit up with, with Anthony and it, it worked. But this week they just looked a little bit impotent when it's sort of a, he, heading, you know, in, into deep attack. Again, just all sort of pretty much relying on, on Costa. And I think he's just looking for a bit of a spark. Whether he tweaks things a little bit, I'm not too sure. But he, he's going to have to. And he's going to have to pretty quick, I reckon. Big shout out to Costi Teopoulos. Teopoulos. Just, ha just having a look at Nicholas Bucco. Once he's spoken there with Damien Mori, he's headed over to Katabolde. He's then headed over to Ant Anthony Costa. And then he's just headed over there to Joe Costa and Valentino Yule. So he's probably passing on a message there from Damien Mori. Teopoulos <laughs> saying that uh, this game is better than the World Cup final. <laughs> and I think that what we're probably uh, underestimating, and we're not really, but uh, is just the quality of Campbelltown at the moment. Absolutely. All across the park. So Fife now from the free kick. Chest down by Allwright. Finds Corbo. Plays it up the line. Five retrieves. Hacks the ball forward, but off the side of his boot. Good to see Mullen up on his feet, but a little bit ginger at the moment. I'm sure he'll run it off. It's got to be way back there. So throw in. And referee not happy. Oh, but he let it go. Mm. As Halliday goes wide. Ball in the middle of the park. Joey Costa goes wide. Nagel plays it up the line. Castle Border under intense pressure. Concedes a throw in the end, Adelaide City. So a throw into Campbelltown, just shy of the halfway line. They lead 1 0. It's the MPOSA grand final, thanks to Borrell. And we've played almost 13 minutes this second half. Campbelltown now looking to add a second. So Matsumoto goes into attack, left side of the park. Can Detroit keep it in? I don't think so. No, no. Good try, anyhow. So it'll be a goal kick. Taken here by uh, Veach. Adelaide City goalkeeper. Campbelltown leading 1-0 against Adelaide City. 58 minutes played, just over 58. And a here miss, at the Cooper Stadium. And a missed penalty just before half-time by Adelaide mm. City. And the dagger, two minutes into the second half with that goal to really play on their minds. They haven't beaten them all year, and to have that happen, that's a double dirty twist. So Matsumoto goes down. Could be a free kick. No. Nope. As Oof. LA City do win the ball, Costa Advantage. has got it, goes short to Joey Costa, his brother. Looks to control it. Almost, uh, sliding. Yeah, almost sliding off there. <laughs> As it goes on. short. They go backwards at the moment. Captain Halliday. Left side of the park. Is that, who's that on that far side? That's Nagel, I think. Nagel, yep. yeah. it was. So they go switch play. This is Day. Day for Adelaide City. Gets past Detroyer. And Detroyer comes back. Who'll get a yellow card after, I reckon? 
That's too as it goes bad to Adelaide now. City. Oh. They've got a chance. They get the cross back. And, and there's an off the play. No, he's, the referee's just stopped the play. No, no, free kick. Free kick there against Nagel, boys. Okay, so will he go back and sanction Louis de Troyer? No, it's for Nagel. Not against him, isn't it? Yes, yeah, free kick for Nagel, yeah, sorry. Did I against. say against? against sorry. Yes, free kick right. for, for Scotty Nagel. And Rob, there's no... I thought that advantage you thought maybe a card to Detroit. Yeah, yeah that's what two, I thought. He's had two bad tackles now mm. in this half. No, I wouldn't have thought it was that bad a tackle, boys. Oh. He went right to ground level, got yeah. a bit of ball. Referee wave play on. And a lot of man. Yeah, mm. but he was right down low. <laughs> can't do that. But anyway, Joey Costa with a free kick, three in the wall. Can he get one back for Adelaide? Yes, oh, a great save. Save. Oh, double save. Double save. Double save. Triple save. <laughs> man of the match. And wow, Damien weird. has just gone, what the hell? Let's have a look at this on replay. That is a ripper. Joey Costa with a free kick, three in the wall, floats it. First header from Yule, great save, double save. I don't know where the second touch came from. And almost a third save there by Ryan Gee, Veach. both keepers are on fire, huh? If you just look at Damien Murray's reaction, <laughs> was priceless. His hands went up, and if I could read what he says and say it on air, I'll beep out a few hurt words. But it's like, <laughs> what the Jimbo, lucky the compressor works on this desk. <laughs> I reckon we went to million decibels here at that point. It was a good uh, attempt. What a double save by Veach. Uh, uh, by Harpers, 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 sorry. Veach did it in the first half. Yeah. Don't you worry. Goalkeeper's up in the running. So it's Pichonari. LA City looking okay. Good response. Yo. Oh, a good uh, interception there by oh, oh, Come on, what's Is going on? Card? This referee's letting out. I suppose Spells is going to say that's all right, of course, but that's a little bit <laughs> no, cynical that, and late. That was a foul. It, again, not there a wasn't card? anything ridiculous about it. Well, he's been it. consistent. Oh, come on. How, I've seen yellow cards. Well, he's been given, consistent yeah, not at the moment. Consistently inconsistent. <laughs> Blimey. He's been consistent not given the yellow card. That's what I'm trying yeah, but to say. Then he, oh, as Pichonari sure. goes into attack, chance for Campbelltown as it's uh, Nagel. Uh, Nagel with the ball. Goes to Casabori, back to Nagel, it goes. This looks promising. Adelaide City, can they do something? They go to Buko. Buko looks up. He knows how to crack him. He cracks it. Oh! oh! <laughs> that wasn't too far. Sorry, boys, <laughs> after what I said at the start of the night. <laughs> Nicholas, yeah, right. Buko. I knew he was going to go for it. Gee, that would have been one hell of a goal had that goal. For me, that would have been goal of the year. Are they allowed to give it if it's in the grand final? Why not? I don't oh, care. I don't think they can. Yeah, because to me, that was like, if that went There's in, that's beauty. beautiful. Sure. Well, this has Adelaide's been really important by Adelaide City, actually, the yeah, last few really. minutes, hasn't it? Absolutely. They've had a good spell, a good response. They trail 1 0, however, just over 17 minutes gone this second half. And they have some defending to do, but they look hungry, Adelaide City. Look out. I think we've got a twist coming in this game. It's all right. Oh, he turns the ball over. Pishaneri says, thank you very much. Matsumoto to Mullen. Muller now going for a charge. They play the ball wide. Halliday, he's got a couple of red shirts in the middle. That's the way it goes. Gee, cool, calm defending Ooh, by Halliday. Comes out of the danger zone for Adelaide City. Buckle has it, goes wide. Nagel, Nagel looks up. What's on offer? Casal Borde, that's the way it goes. Harvey hot on his hammer, so he goes back. Halliday starts it again from his defensive half. This has been a great response by the Adelaide City yeah. Football Club. As now Shannon Day has the ball. Grandstand side attacking the goals. Gets the cross in. Not a good cross. And Fife easily accounts it's for coming, that. It's coming. It's coming. Marino with the ball for Campbelltown. They are leading 1-0. But they're under the pump at the moment. As the ball goes over the sideline. I just saw up here, boys. Spellsy, keep your eye on it. Vaz Paha's assistant coach is running over. Someone's Campbelltown are going to be making a substitution. Yeah, Marino. Marino's down. LA City. Switch play, but it's cut out Matsumoto there by Matsumoto. Chance for Campbelltown. It's two against two. Matsumoto goes inside the box. Oh. He doubles back, goes one way, then the other. Now that's a back oh, pass, not a good steal. one. Good steal. It'll be cleared by Adelaide City as Marino's back up. And the coach is wanting the ball out of play. Spells and down there. What are they yelling? A free kick. What's Damien unhappy He's about? It's just him? cramped. Two race Marino. coming on, boys. So... Theopoulos, are you guys covering the EPL tonight? Brilliant coverage, lads. Thank you. Marino's <laughs> off. Well, yeah, well, that's what you get for, you know, crying wolf, unfortunately, because he's, <laughs> he's, he's actually only cramp, <laughs> cramped up. So, so he's sort he's of saying, hey, anyway, I, yeah. I, could, uh, I could go on. 
Too late she cried as Campbelltown first to go to the substitutes bench tonight. Injury prone, isn't he? Poor old Mark Marino. But that's no injury, uh, Robbie. It was just purely cramped. Yeah. But a coach Spell is going to take no risks on Good the 65th call. minute mark when you're 1-0 up. You have cramp. A crying wolf didn't pay off. Anyway, it's Campbelltown that have the ball and have the lead 1-0. 19 and a half minutes gone this second half. Game's opened up a little bit now, boys. Absolutely. So the ball's on the right-hand side of the park. It's uh, Matsumoto. He's been good. Started the season very slow with Campbelltown. Almost spat the dummy in one game, if you remember, guys. Yes, at Croydon. Wasn't going to come back. Responded well, though. But, uh, he's done well. He's played a great game tonight, too, here at Cooper Stadium. So Adelaide City. Whew, take a breath. Right-hand side of the park. What a game. It's been one of the... This has been the best grand final that I have seen. Oh, Robbie, they're big I, goals. I've been you to 23 grand finals, mate. Paul, Robbie, you make a massive statement. That is... <laughs> Can you remember the 17th one? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's Blake. Adelaide Blue Eagles versus Port, Port Lyon. <laughs> Port Lyon relegated this season. I can't believe that. Anyway, from the clearance, Harpus with a brilliant double save earlier on. That could have been a free kick. It is. Yeah, they've gone to third division. Yeah, I can't believe that. Port Lyon were a powerhouse at one stage. So, free kick. That's a good point. The Campbell Scorpion Town. kick, if you remember, was in the finals. That was goal of the year in the A-League. Yes, true. So point. I, it could have been. I don't think it was. It's research. I don't okay. think that was. They wanted it to be goal of the year, yet it couldn't be because it was in the final. Oh, okay. Anyway, free kick to Campbelltown. This goes to the tip of the 18-yard box. In fact, near the penalty area. Headed by Mullen and just Shoot. wide. Whoa. In fact, he thinks it could have been, should have been in. But it wasn't. It didn't miss one much. Needed Gee. a player running to that back post just for an easy tap in. Just they all got caught ball watching. So the Adelaide City on the left hand side looking okay at the moment. They are down 1 0 though. Trying to get this equaliser. Inboard it goes. Bradley Corbo. Goes short to Joey Costa. The back lines at the moment. All right. Clears it. Goes back into attack. Could have been a free kick there. No. Could have been, I said. <laughs> could have been tonight. It could have gone either way. Could have. He's calling the, Goes the to referee. Joey Costa. The He's tonight. a chance for Adelaide City. Bucco goes out to Costa. Back to oh. almost back to Bucco <laughs> there, but well read there by the Campbelltown Red Devils defence. Matsumoto goes in forward. Detroit cleverly does. Mullen, Alex Mullen. It's four on three. Here they go. Campbelltown. They go to oh, oh, here the it middle. Is. Kirk! Can he get that good save there? Still a chance. Is that a goal? No. He's That's a free, free kick, kick to the goalkeeper for a start. Kirk is down. His hand's up, boys. He's in some serious trouble. Ooh. And also the goalkeeper. Oh, he's back on his feet. So Veach is okay. Oh. But not. Let's have a look at this. It's just both players going for Ooh. the ball. Protecting each other. That's or it. protecting themselves, I should say. Well, we've got a little bit of time, boys. As you can see here, oh, that's Kirk's feet. gone studs up. Yeah, what do you think? Fair. Yellow card. No, no, what I'm trying to say is that, okay, the keeper got the ball, but there's two bodies going clashing. How do you get a free kick? I know Kirk's come up studs oh, up. It's a bit dangerous, Ryan. I think that's a little bit dangerous. I know at some point you have to pull out and know that it's a dangerous situation. So it's always going to go He's to the He's going to get a yellow keeper. card. Not right? always. He's going to get a yellow card. And, and I think he should. See, he went studs up. I Robbie. think so, absolutely. If he kept his studs yeah, down, okay. if he kept his studs down, uh, what I'm trying to say is that is Kirk? keepers always, yeah, Dion Kirk, but keepers always going to come out sliding. See this when, on the replay. Watch this. I just think it's dangerous play. He, the ball was too far gone, and he's gone sliding in, feet, mm. studs first, as you okay. said. Definitely yellow card. But if he's kept his studs down, is that free kick always still going to go to the goalkeeper? Because when do you... Are you going to, uh, as a coach, are you want your striker to attack that ball and make a challenge? Or are you sure, going to say, I, th oh, I think every, every, every uh, thing will also be. Also on the Facebook Live, guys, uh, Adrian Zacek, will this be Murray's last game in charge of City? Ooh, big statement. I'm hearing a few rumours. And that guy that uh, Zacek might be Croatian, I reckon he might go to Raiders. Well, I think every uh, challenge will be taken on its merits, uh, Ryan, and this one. Looked a bit mm. uh, awful. Stretches out, What's boys. What's happening down there, Spells? Thanks to Dry Creek Auto Wreckers. Yeah, well, you were dead right with the reaction from Kirk that uh, he's done something to his lower leg or something by the looks of things, so he'll, he'll come off. He looks okay. He's up. Stretches out, boy. Yeah. Robbie stretches out. Yeah, I know. 
Is this oh, a good thing for Campbelltown to stop the momentum of Adelaide City? We might bring uh, Cassandra in. I know she's did, did the women's grand final. Good evening, Cassandra. Good yeah. evening. <laughs> First thing. Um, go on, go. Yeah, look, I think Campbelltown looked very, very onto it from the beginning. So I think to stop Adelaide City while they're sort of getting into it now, um, it might work in Campbelltown's favour again. Good win by Adelaide City women there. Adelaide City won, defeated Metro United now. Yeah, that was another yeah tough game to call. Tough match there for both sides. So uh, Adelaide City women's the best, better team on the day. And in State League 2, if you want to know the result, State League 2 today early on. Adelaide Victory 2 defeated Playford nil. So well done to Adelaide Victory. From fifth position they did it. So well done. State League 1, Raiders 3 defeated Blue Eagles 1. So, uh, so yeah, here well there's going to Raiders be a lot of well. injury time I think tonight. There's well, two bad injuries. Depends that if he's got his watch. Well, <laughs> it's interesting to see with you the might. injury time that uh, well, supposedly the referee was meant to give in that first half. Because on the Chemist King Hectorville stat, Hectorville stat sheet, there was across the board there was 15 free kicks only for one minute. But he didn't even get to 45, Ryan. That's yeah, the, I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I wonder what we're going to get in this but, second half. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I bet you it'll be about eight minutes of time on. Spells, are you able to find out what's happened to Dion Kirk? I know he's in some serious trouble. If he's maybe, un, we hope not. Hopefully it's just a bad knock. But if he's maybe done, he's his got knees, a broken leg or, or something like that. Sure. I don't think it's, it's blown up. So Dion Kirk coming off, Anthony Hartnell coming on for Campbelltown. That's their second change tonight. Damien Murray hasn't gone to the bench yet. And Spills will check with the doctors to see how bad that injury was. And it's his leg, I'm not sure. I don't I'm think it's broken. sure what's happening. No, it's not And Kostopoulos is not playing. He's been suspended. So it's Adelaide City now still trailing 1-0. They did have a good spell, but that momentum may have been broken as... Pishaneri now goes backwards to Torre. Fresh legs on the park. Being chased by Day. Torre. Detroit wants it short. Oh, they went on the same wavelength. And Joey Costa comes away with it for Adelaide City. He's a natural left footer too, Torre. So he'll be dangerous. He's got a nice left foot too. As Adelaide City with the ball. Nagel. Looks for support. So they go towards uh, Bukor. Left side to Casabore hasn't really done a lot tonight. Still plenty of time to get back into this game. Adelaide City goes out left, shot in the end. Had to palm Carried it away. away. Yeah, yeah, it was Great coming. Shots, another stinger. I tell you what, boy. You know how good is this game? Put these boys in a full-time environment. Can't tell me they wouldn't match it with some was of that. Was that Nagel? That shot that, that was yeah. absolutely Scotty Nagel. Mm. Can't tell me these Beauty. guys wouldn't match it with some of the A-League hacks we're seeing. <laughs> a bit of a, a bit, a bit of a positional change here since Dion Kirk has come off, boys, with that injury. A Alex Mullen has moved up into the number ten position where Dion Kirk was, with Anthony Hartnell coming back into the number eight, a uh, number eight position there. Joey Costa gets Mullen the corner was. kick, swings it around, tried to do a Carlo Armiento against Armiento. comments. <laughs> well, he did hit the back of the net, but on the outside. On oh, the outside. <laughs> Anyhow, it is. Uh, Harpers to take this goal kick. Gee, do you feel just the momentum's been taken out of that Adelaide City charge? Mm. Yeah, that, that injury, yeah, you yeah, could be right. I reckon right? it has. So it'll be interesting to see if City can bring back that momentum. So Harpers gets his kick over the halfway line. Uh, Yule's been quiet too tonight. Mm. He's got to get his game going. It's the back of his head. Trying to go back to Halliday. But uh, Mullen, Alex That's Mullen, he will win himself a free kick. Yeah. Can't complain, Corbo. Five free kicks apiece here in the second half for the Campbelltown and Adelaide City. And so Campbelltown quickly taken. Goes to Halliday. Halliday goes with a funny looking cross straight close, to the arm yeah. of Ryan Veach. And away go Adelaide City. Oh, they have turned Whoa. it over. Matsumoto, the recipient, on the far side of the ground. Campbelltown into attack. Detroit has got it. Only one player in the middle, and that's the way it goes to Torre. Oh. Unbalanced, and watch this on the replay. A little bit unbalanced. Good delivery. Oh, not bad. Probably a little bit too high. Did get the left peg. That's his favourite. Still now, Troyer shoots, but well over. And they're peppering away, pardon the pun. So that momentum has been taken away, that long break mm -hmm. for the injuries. Spells, um, just as you probably heard Damian Murray screaming out, Corbo's gone to set it back. 
Bucco's gone into Corbo's position and holding midfielder. And as you see, the number seven of Joel Allwright moving up into the forward position, yep. taking place where Nicholas Bucco was. Good yeah, move. It's a good move, I reckon. They just needed to, you know, just twist and turn it a little bit. So Bucco goes into attack for LA City. Oh, that was just dangerously, but the Harpers will get this. He falls over it. Spells, you found out what's happened to Dion Kirk? Uh, no, I haven't, mate. I just know it was a lower leg. I can't okay. tell you much more than that. Harpers, he almost got outside of his own box there when he kicked that. Anyhow, goes into attack. Trying to clear it. Goes to Casabore. Short goes to Bucco. Bucco finds Costa. This is promising. Anthony Costa. Goes to you, LA City. Oh, oh the cross there. In the face, Corner I think. Kick. Is that a hit Falcon's cross? Yeah, dead set Falcon. He's <laughs> got Halliday in the face. Let's watch this on the replay. Good movement by LA City. Joey Costa going wide. You wanted to get the early ball into the box. Boof. No, I think it got his uh, kidney, um, kidney yeah. punch. Kidney punch. Left foot in swinger by Day. Goes very deep. Too long. Fife gets his head on it. Detroit the recipient. No one up front for Campbelltown. So it'll come back at him. Corbo for Adelaide City. Just forward of centre. Nice through ball to Joey Costa. Swings around onto his left. Plays it wide. Nagel could get the ball into the box. One way, then the other. Had a beautiful crack earlier on. Joey Costa almost falls over his feet. Nagel chips it into the box. Who's there to meet it? Yule. But off target, offside flag up anyway. Mm. And that'll be a relieving free kick to Campbelltown. They lead 1 0. 31 minutes almost gone this second half. It's MPL SA grand final night, all thanks to Borrell. First Chemist King, Hectorville offside for the half, going to Valentina Yule of our late city. So it'll be a goal kick, be taken here by Harpers. Both keepers. First class saves, one by Veach in the first half, and certainly the Harpers one was a beauty. So it goes to Day. Passing with LA City has been a little bit astray tonight. So it goes to Fife. And it's come unstuck as well. Joey Costa, chance for LA City. Right hand side to you. Will he keep it in? No, he won't. Well, he had a chance to keep it in. Actually. He had it almost. I thought it was too heavy, but he actually got it. But then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attendance at Cooper Stadium this afternoon. Final crowd, four thousand three hundred. It's good on the day, four thousand three hundred up from last year. Nice night here in Adelaide. Seven o'clock kickoff Saturday night. Is that, the, is that the figure the young now? Fella off Castlebora. Yeah, you're right, Rob. You picked that he has had a quiet game. Mm. So youngster for a youngster. Matthew Jones on. Substitution for Adelaide City. Stefan Castlebore off. Castlebore. He'll be replaced by number 13, Matthew Jones. Looks 14 to me, the youngster that's come on. Looks very young. That's because we're getting very old. <laughs> Is uh, LA oh. City win themselves a free kick? Day. Let's have a look. Jimbo's brought it up. Oh, that's got to be softer than butter, that one. <laughs> and butter's Depends. pretty soft. Depends which butter. <laughs> Real butter. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. So uh, Day swings it in. This is a good chance. Keep it, might take it. Well, take, yeah. Had it's to been make supreme, it. hasn't it? Had to make it, Harpers. Yeah, but it hung in the air a while, so it's always his. Dangerous ball. It's won by. Uh, Yo, Yo goes to Costa. Costa, Joey oh. Costa with a cross. Punched Good away. Touch. Booker knows how to crack it from here. He looks up, squares it up, goes to Nagel. Nagel will go wide, does so. Who's in that photo? The youngster, Jones. 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 Back to Nagel, it goes with a cross. Chest it down, wanted to get penalty, but it's cleared only as far as an Adelaide City in Halliday. Halliday. Good pressure by Adelaide City. Good spell. Joey Costa. They trail 1-0. 33 gone. Deep ball. Far post. Jones lays it back. Nagel, we know he's got a shot on him. Not his right foot, though. Not his right foot. Not his right. Well, that was obvious with that attempt. And that's a wasted. And it'll be a goal kick to Campbelltown. They lead 1-0. Grand final night. NPL SA. So thanks to Borrell. Campbelltown won through... Matsumoto in the 47th minute. And that's how it's been. A missed penalty just before half time by Adelaide City. Maybe awoke those demons that they haven't beaten Campbelltown all year. Shari McNamara saying Nick Harper's for best on ground. He's in the running. The oh, that'll hurt. Going down, that'll definitely hurt. 
Oh, no, that's stupid. That's absolutely stupid. Why did he do that, Mullen? That, You're winning you, one, you can't, That's right. You can't retaliate like that. Joey Costa baiting him now, so he should. It's, that was absolutely schoolboy stuff. I'm pumping up this league to make it say it's, you know, better than the A-League, and you get great two stuff <laughs> like that. Come on. Just passion, boys. He just got tunnelled a little oh, bit. Alex Mullen with his experience spells. Yeah. Yep. No, you're dead right. He's going to... He's gonna, Get a card for it. Know, it's it's only a yellow card. No, that's that's readable. I that's reckon red. that's red. That's red. That's that retaliation. That's, and, and not light retaliation. I think he knocked, push. he knocked him over. Well, Damien push. spells. Damien must be asking the question, how's that not red? Well, he's actually fairly quiet at the moment. <laughs> Surprising. It was just a push. Jimbo, just I think on the replay. Card. We got it on the replay. Just the, the shunt. That's the fit. Well, wasn't it? Rear foul. He's just climbed and Costa stood his ground. But this is the moment. He gets up. Bang. Ah, so, yeah, he made a meal of it. Come on, guys. No, this is not AFL footy. It's a yellow footy. card. This is not that's AFL right, football. Right, I agree with this you. is a game of the beautiful game. This is world football, and that's not allowed. And in here's this a game. beautiful player, Detroit now. Goes for a break, but has to hold it up because he had no mates up <laughs> forward. So he goes backwards. Harvey up to Matsumoto. On the halfway line, Campbelltown lead 1-0. It's gone back to Harvey, chips it forward, but it's been turned over. So Adelaide said he come. Nagel looks up. What's on offer? Goes short to Joey Costa. He's a great game, isn't he, Costa? Back to Nagel. Nagel gets this into the box. Costa comes. Good defending by Fife. Not out of danger yet. Mullen gets his head on it. And the ball on the far side I'm of the ground. I'm sensing something. Ten minutes to go. Last time on. And Adelaide City get back into this game. They are down 1-0 at the moment. They're asking the questions at the moment. They're in fourth gear. Moving forward goes to Day. Back to Day it goes. Goes to Costa. Will he have a Ooh, shot? Slide up. Very Matsumoto. lucky. Gee, he said he got the ball. He's not even going to sanction Matsumoto. Huh? Very. Let's have a look at this, Jimbo. What is going on with Captain Cook? He's lost the endeavour. Oh, that how's that up. not a card, please? That studs up. Mm. How's that not a card? Oh, well, so it's a uh, holiday. Left-hand side of the park. It's on the Manton Street side end. Can we bring on Mooney for Cook? <laughs> As it goes. Booker. Gee, nice pass, too, to All Right. All Right's got the chance. Goes one way. The defence has been good for Gamble Too Town. much, though. Have held strong. Should have laid it off. Yo. Goes to Day. He's going to lose short. it. He does. Oh, goes to Toure. Toure finds Detroit. Good ball there by Mullen. Alex Mullen. But the Toure. That's intelligent. See what Toure did just then? That's intelligent. So it is uh, Corbo. Trying to find all right. And that's come unstuck. Fife has got it. He'll clear it. I think as far as all right, though. Clear the pass. If I was Booker, I would have had a crack from yeah, there. someone has to. <laughs> Maybe not Joey, Joey Costa. Costa. no. Booker can. Boys, that's five off, five shots off, off target. target there. Just a rush for of blood Adelaide, there. Adelaide City. Joey the last ten minutes. The replay there. Just rush of blood for poor old Joey Costa. Way off target. 38 minutes. We're approaching second half. Time becoming the enemy. Campbelltown leading 1-0 over Adelaide City. It's the MPOSA grand final night here in Adelaide. All thanks to Borrell. So the goal kick taken, trying to find uh, Alex Mullen there. Adelaide City, can they pull one back? Still seven and a half minutes to go plus time on. I reckon there'll be about eight minutes of time on. He might add the extra minute for the first half. A couple of bad injuries too. As well, yep. So it'll be Halliday with a throw in. Grandstand side. Chested down by Detroit. Alex Mullen. He's got the ball. Gee, Toure didn't know where it was. Otherwise, he would have gone straight to goal. And that's cleared. Actually, a terrible clearance. That's what LA City's clearance. Their disposals let him down. Their disposals let him down, yes. Yeah. There's Detroit. Halliday. And that goes over the sideline. Grandstand side. Throw into Campbelltown Red Devils. They are leading 1-0. Throwing quickly taken. Grandstand side. They are in attack. Campbelltown, but they've turned it over cheaply. Book or turns it over just as cheap. Hartnell now plays it short to Mullen. He goes backwards. Matsumoto, the goal scorer. His goal separates these two teams. Goes back to Mullen. Mullen now needs some support. He's got two, three black and white shirts. They win out in numbers, Adelaide City. 
and it's Halliday who releases but turns over cheaply. And Hartnell now plays it off to Matsumoto. Under pressure, good steal, all right. Joey Costa touches it to Nagel. Gee, a bit too heavy, but does well to keep possession. Nagel needs a run and needs something. He's got Matsumoto hot on his hammer. So he goes backwards to Buko. He's in the center circle. Switches the play. Poor ball. Again. And I think that could be game set the match. heartbreaker. No. no, the heartbreaker. Not <laughs> game, set game set match. match. No, the heartbreaker or the morale killer for mm. Adelaide That's City. It's been their problem, as I said. They're passing. There's a throw in, it's taken here by Campbelltown. Hanging on to this 1 0 lead. Goes to Joey Costa, he's been supreme. He switches play, left side for the oh. youngster. He can't get there, that's the problem. And that's the problem, he can't Matthew get there, Jones. or then he's the youngster. Mm. Me mm. and Maddie Jones. Uh, me and Mrs. Jones. We've got a thing going on. Oh, Have please. You? <laughs> in this day and age, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> that's true. Campbelltown with the throw on the far side, Mangton Street side end. Takes the throw. It's going to be a little bit difficult to get this claim all wise man of the match too tonight, boys. And they sit with the throw in. I think it'd be Daniel Cook. <laughs> I'd, I'd go short. Christen the ship that he came on. You know what you do when you christen a ship with a bottle? bottle? Boom! <laughs> That's how I'd give it to him. I'd drink the bottle. Absolutely. <laughs> As it goes over the sideline. Again, pair pass. Throw into Campbelltown. I could tell what your halftime speech would be to Adelaide City. Your passing's been off tonight, boys. Five for the long ball four, but there's not too many red shirts up there. Halliday gets his head, head foot on it, turns it over to Troyer. It's three on three to Troyer. Plays it to Torre. He's onside. He's in the box. He cuts it back. No one read that. Ooh, no one read Mullen, no good ball. Mullen gives chase. So he keeps it alive for Campbelltown. Matsumoto comes to support. Mullen there. The Alex type goes backwards. All the way back to the halfway line. Pishinari. Short. Hartnell. Turns. Five. Chips it. Grandstand side. Halliday. Day applies the pressure. Well done to Torre. Torre now has to go on his preferred left, but turns it over. And Day comes away with. Oh, he's filled, but. No advantage. Says, no, no, yeah, not, not even. A, I don't wow. think that was going to be a free kick. <laughs> Didn't think anything. I just. <laughs> case Sera Sera tonight with a ref. Ooh. There's Joey Costa in the middle of the park. Plays it to Day. Awkward looking ball, but all right. Makes it look good. Could have been a foul. And I will say could have been on each occasion because anything can happen. <laughs> but Try this time it is a foul. It. Seven fouls for Adelaide City in this half to Campbelltown's five. Thank you to Chemist King Hectorville. It's been a game of fouls, not shots. So who's taking this? Joey Costa. Everyone's pushing forward, except for Corbo, and obviously Costa taking this kick. And no Veach yet. Mm, true. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Three minutes of normal time to go, boys. Yo, up there. He's going to chip it up. Costa's there. Can he get his head to it? But well done. There, well, Alex Mullen. Yeah. They do clear it. Only as far as Costa again. <coughs> Squares it up to Buko. We know how he can hit him. Goes oh. to Yo. And no, no corner kick. It is a goal kick. He should have tried the incredible there, Yo, at this mm. stage of the game, just to turn and shoot. Just hasn't been his night tonight. On the half volley. Valentino Yo. Yeah, I think, with, you know, a few of the guys playing a little bit out of position or being asked to play positions that perhaps they're not entirely used to and they're so disorganised like Buko wanted to take that set piece then but mm. not nah, yelled at get down there and I can't work out why he isn't taking corners and and penalties and penalties here's to Troy now still on side Torre they get in each other's way so Buko does a tidying up Corbo lays it out wide to Day Day now going for a bit of oh that's a blatant that's foul it. again yellow card and it will be a yellow card to Torre we we'll take that ball back to the halfway line. Was it showing the yellow card, boys? No, he wasn't. He wasn't showing the yellow card. Why well, isn't that a yellow card? That is a plain every day, maybe he just every said, week, Look yellow like, card. I reckon he's forgotten. Like yeah. he's forgotten the time, the first half. He might have said, just look at my top and read my mind. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't matter if it's the 88th minute <laughs> of the first God. minute. That there, every day of the week, is a yellow card. Let's have a look at this. The He's late professional too, foul. That, that is, is a, a yellow, yellow card. card every day. Now, Rob, I want to ask you a quick question. 
the referee that normally gets the grand final normally gets referee of the year. He is that will. Right? Yes. But, Blimey, no, so. but he's been very good all year, Daniel mm. Cook. Every game we've seen of him, he's been very well, good. It's the grand so final. He's, he's had a bit of them shakes. Heebie-jeebies. Joey Costa with the free kick. Charge for Adelaide City. Here's a go and too close to the keeper. He could get man of the match. Sorry, Go. Yep. Sure. <laughs> go, go, go. Nick Harpus has been fantastic all night. She Kept them in the game. Yep. She might like the pink top, though. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the pink top? It's the pink. <laughs> it's the pink. So it's day. Can LA City get the last ditch effort? Referee blew his whistle in the first half of this time. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for that. Anything could happen. Crowd's getting a little anxious and a little excited. Well, he's got his whistle in his mouth. <laughs> There's got to be at least six minutes of extra it has time. Has to be. With the injuries, if not we've more. Had. Yep. Gary Mooney's about to come on. <laughs> no, no. As he showed the the fourth official clock there. Ball in the box <laughs> has been cleared to Troy now, but he's got no one up front for Campbelltown. They're all in their defensive half. Mullen. Puts Matsumoto under pressure. So Joey Costa from the turnover. Adelaide City in possession. Into attack. Buko now. Time is the enemy. We're into extra time. Nagel on the far side. Gets across into the box. Costa the target. Buko held. Oh, into the box, but it's been cleared. Uh, Ryan, please. <laughs> he's the referee of the year, right? So don't question him. I don't think that was a free kick. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Are you Absolutely. serious? He was being held. Are you serious? Five, only five oh, minutes. Uh, you got to be joking. Here's uh, the Troyer, Robbie. So the Troyer with the ball. They're going to attack. Campbelltown, Red Devil. He's got a crack here if he gets corner, it. Corner, corner. He'll go close to Claymore Wines, man of the match. Watch this corner, boys. Campbelltown's first one for the half, but it won't be whipped in the box. They're going to try and hold it in tight to that corner flag. Robbie, back to you. If you <laughs> are saying that was not all a right, free kick. I was trying to help I'm going to give you glasses. another pair of glasses because those ones are definitely not working. Was it a free kick? Of course it 100%. was. 100%. So right. yeah, like, I'm oh. saying, was it a free kick? 100%. Was it a free kick? I'm saying. It wasn't. It wasn't. But so you was, agreed so with So I am right. So short corner by <laughs> Campbelltown. Matsumoto on the far side trying to wind the clock down. It's only 1-0, mind you, after all that. So Nagel has the ball for Adelaide City. They still have a chance to go to extra time if they can equalise. Adelaide City over the halfway line. Jones getting held. Lays it off to Nagel. Nagel on the halfway line. Beautiful through ball. Dave's got a bit of space in front of him. He thought about it. Gets onto his left. Thought about it again. Goes to Buko instead. Nagel overlapping run. Nagel chips it into the box. Costa comes, but five. Yeah, five equal three. and better to it. And they release Campbelltown, but they got no one in their attacking half. Even our Facebook page is saying uh, Harpers for man of the match. I might go with our uh, viewers. So throw in, take it on the far side. They go short. Almost Can't two minutes of extra time. Adelaide City, a last ditch effort here. Good attack on the ball by All Right. Play okay. on. Well done, Fife. Goes to Mullen. Alex Mullen. Left side to Toure. It's going to wind down the clock. Just holds on to the ball. Goes one. Oh, he's nutmeg oh. somebody. Well done, Poor Toure. Boy. And no, oh. Oh, got a great left foot, just he has, crack it from he? there. Bit of Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo magic there. So LA City come away with the ball. Buko in the middle of the park. Looks up, they still need a goal. They trail 1-0 Adelaide City. We've played two and a half minutes of extra time. Five has been the allocated. Jones now for Adelaide City. Can he get it into the box? Does so with his left foot. Who's there to meet it? Oh, oh great save again by Harpus. Cleared by Mullen. It'll come back at him. Day's got the ball. Or hospital ball, and it's cleared sky by Detroit, but it will stay in play. Day gives chase. They're in their defensive half, Adelaide City. Halliday, center circle. Almost three minutes of extra time played. Booker gets the ball into the box. It's a high one. They're going high and long in hope. Finds its way. Oh, well Matsumoto, timely intercept there. Jones was lining up something. Matsumoto holding up. Trying to wind down the clock, concedes the throw in. Three minutes and six of extra time play. So we are throwing on the far side. Can Adelaide City come back into this game? Campbelltown holding strong. Joey Mullen, can he win another premiership, another championship, sorry, with Campbelltown? The throw in taken. Chance ball. Is it game ball? No. No and hand ball. goes Detroit on the break. So Detroit with the ball. Just a player to beat, uses his speed. Detroit, Scotty Nagel goes back. Well done, Scotty Nagel. So Detroit has to hold on. That's a foul. 
Yep, absolutely. Right to foul. It's the first time I agree with Captain Cook tonight. That's not the first time, really, but definitely. It's so it was that handball. Don't know if the replay is going to show that or go back that far. So it was a little bit of a shirt tug, mm. I reckon. Anyhow, four minutes of extra time. Here's this the potential handball situation. Oh, nah. He didn't know too much about it. Hand in a natural position, yeah. no penalty. Yeah. Here's even a close up for you. Oh, well, I've seen them given like that. Yes. Yeah. Because it's goal bound, isn't it? Yes, the it shot. is goal bound. <laughs> but with Captain Cook's well, type of performance, heads or tails, really, yeah, then, isn't exactly it? Right. Anyhow, fair enough. As it sure. goes over the sideline. Controversy there. Campbelltown. Some more emotion down on the boundary. 2018, waiting for another minute. Oh, actually, 30 seconds to go. Joe Mullen just asking Gary Mooney, how long have we got? We've played four minutes and 40 seconds of the allocated five. And it's Adelaide City with their last ditch effort. They turn it over cheaply. Matsumoto. Ooh. Halliday. Oh. Matsumoto. Matsumoto on goal. One to B. Trickles just wide. I think he's done enough to win it anyhow. Who, Matsumoto? No, because time is running out. <laughs> time is running out badly. There it goes. There's a final whistle. And Campbelltown are champions well, of the go. NPL in South Australia. Everyone's jumped on top of Joey. Yeah. Jumping emotion. on Joey. And I tell you what, Joe Mullen has brought the championship to Campbelltown. Once again. Was it their 50th anniversary the last time they'd yes. won it, boys? Yes. So it's been 2014, that was. A few years between drinks for Campbelltown. He's won three, three championships. Or oh, 2015, that was, sorry, yeah. the 50th year. So... Adelaide City at the end there, huffed oh, and puffed. Man of the match, guys. Harpers. Why not? I think Spells. he's. Uh, I think Harpers. Possibly won him a grand Why final. Why not? Why not? Why not? If not for his pink top, for his saves. Now we'll bring uh, Cassandra up. Sorry, Cassandra, you've had a few issues with your mic, so we're oh, still, still whistling at me that microphone. So Campbelltown have run our victors here tonight at Cooper Stadium in the NPOSA Grand Final 2018. 1-0 over Adelaide City. Could have been more or it could have been less. Adelaide City, of course, missing, missing, a, missing a, a penalty, penalty just yeah. before half-time, hitting the crossbar. And then a, a double, a fantastic double save by Nick Harpers. Kept them in the game, kept the victory alive and probably kept them this trophy. So... But really a great team effort. Hart, you could throw a blanket over a lot of them there at Campbelltown. I think they died down the last 10 to 15 minutes. Campbelltown, maybe? Yeah, well, I think Adelaide City strong. threw everything at them. And, uh, but they were, they were the best team by far. Dangerous to do, though, with only one, Neil. Yeah. So, Adelaide Certainly. City again. Come up short. That third time. Unlucky. The saying, the saying going third time lucky the has gone that out death. the window. Third that time. Death. That death, they needed it on the bench. Can you see me down here? Go, spells you down to you, mate. Yeah, I got Nicholas Harpus with me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable, mate. Like, I can't be more proud of this group. You know, Joey put, us, put these boys together at the start of the year. Our objective was we finished ninth bottom. You know, that was our, that's where we finished. And to go and do this, two in three years is absolutely, I, I can't ask for more. Yeah, and there's something about recruiting people, but it's about recruiting the right people too, I think. And to get the Mullins boys in, um, you know, really balanced you up, gave you a bit of, uh, you know, in the middle and, and back. Uh, but boy, you, you as a group, you, you really grew as the year went along. A lot of self-belief, playing some fantastic footy, and that was an excellent grand final. Oh, it was fantastic. Credit to Adelaide City as well. They, they took us right to the wire, not only this game, but in the two semi-final legs. Um, these boys, like, like you said, that, that spine is the most important part of a team. But at the same time, we believed that we could do something. We believed that we could go further, and the aspirations and the goals that we had, we've shown it tonight. What about that double save, hey? Oh, I, I just stood up, <laughs> did my job, and, and thankfully, I well, Daniel actually said to me I should have held the ball, so. <laughs> He's a tough judge. He is, isn't he? But, no, nah, I'm so happy. I, you know, personally, I play well, but it's our team. 
you know, what a team we've got. I'm so proud of the boys. Yeah, absolutely. It was right across the board. Everyone contribute. Yeah. Wonderful skipper back there marshalling the troops and keeping everyone in, in. You know, he was in the right place at the right time on so many occasions yeah. in that second half. Oh, definitely. Both of them, even Matty Miles as well, to come back, obviously, giving away that penalty in the first half. Mm. But Fifey, credit to him. His professionalism around the club, not only with us, but through the juniors and that is... You can't ask for a better guy. He's just an absolute legend. Well, you are our Claymore man's uh, man of the match today. You want me to hang on to that and give it to you when yeah. you jump in? Yeah, 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 Good yeah. stuff. Thank Go you. in and enjoy and yourself. One more thing to my dad up there. Yeah, yeah that's two in three you, years. It's his. It's Father's Day tomorrow, oh. obviously, and then next week is birth. I, it, yeah. Nick, Wonder, is, is wonderful that, sentiment, mate. Is that your third championship? My sec club? My second. Second. Yeah, yeah. second. Yes. Good on you, mate. Congratulations. You. Good tribute, too, to his dad. And yeah. uh, it is Father's Day tomorrow, ironically, and that never entered my mind in regards yeah, to okay. what Nick's Champion. been through, of course, getting yeah. the man of the match. He just put off a, a great double save, which probably changed the game for Campbelltown and, and uh, knocked the wind out of Adelaide City. That just Adelaide City had taken a couple of blows. That missed penalty just before half-time. Spells is right down amongst it. Celebrating the song down there. The spell looks like the spell wants to join in the celebration. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. <laughs> Have a chat with Alex Mullen. Yeah, yeah, I will. What do you think of that, hey? Ah, uh, to say, first of all, so tired, but you know what? It doesn't feel any better. What a season! What a group! What a coach! What a just what a club! What an experience that was tonight. It's been... And what a decision it was from you to uh, step into that group. Yeah, he was. You know, he was. It was a big decision. I, you know, I love my old club, but I came here to win something and it happened today. I couldn't have written the script any better and just just so happy just for the group and we worked hard and, and we deserved it, I think. Absolutely, and we just said to Nick then, you know, obviously to recruit uh, the Mullins boys, know that they're getting some wonderful individuals uh, because you've got to go into a, a, a good group and, and also, you know, play your position. <laughs> It's a family affair down there. <laughs> no, but, you know, well, uh, really well, congratulations well, to you blokes because, uh, well, you know, a wonderful stuff. That was a great grand final. Yeah, it was fantastic. And you know what? Credit to LA City. They made us work so, so hard. And, uh, you know, Dame Mori has them so well drilled and, and a, a bunch of great guys as well. You know, we'll see them later on for a drink because they're a good group as well and just goes to show we've got some real quality in this league and I hope some, some people were watching because there's some great players on display tonight. There were plenty of people watching and they were full of accolades and uh, get in there mate, enjoy yourself. Well Alex Mullen. Yeah, look, uh, a lot of emotion Champion, down. who got close to winning the Sergio Milton medal. We do have the presentation to the match officials What do you think, Matsumoto? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. He's so happy. Uh, <laughs> Arigatou gozaimasu! <laughs> Matsumoto getting the winner in the uh, 52nd minute mark. No, 47. 47th minute mark. Yeah. Two minutes after half time. Sorry, I had uh, Captain Cook's watch. <laughs> so a lot of emotion down there, of course. Uh, Adelaide City feeling dejected. You got Jumping Joe yet? No, I haven't. He's just over the other side there and just lapping it up for a sec. Yep. 13 years since the last championship, Adelaide City. Detroit, maybe Detroit. Uh, asking about his Central Coast. Uh, no, let's get some. Joe's a very quiet man. We've got to speak to Joe. Get some emotion from him, Spells. Get some reaction from him. We know he's a shy guy, humble guy, great guy. But it's time to speak, Joe. Time to speak. Come on, Joey. A few words from you, fella. I know you're a man of. of yeah. Only a few words, but congratulations, because yeah, obviously you. from where you were a couple of years ago, um, didn't bottom out, you know, but, but certainly had to have a bit of a look and change things. Wonderful recruiting, and uh, boy, oh boy, you brought them together wonderfully well, Joe. Yeah, I think it's been a great year, all year, and I think uh, the best team uh, of the season won the championship. And um, Adelaide City, I've got to give full credit, wonderful, wonderful team, well, well organised, terrifically coached, terrific bunch of players. But uh, we were too good, and that's over. That's over uh, five and a half games we played them this year. They haven't scored against us in any of those five and a half games, and uh, that's uh, that's the story of the difference between the two teams. So 
Um, very proud of my players. I bet you are, and boy, they came out with some spirit today. Yeah, they did. They had uh, plenty of uh, will, want and desire, and um, it's been no different all year, to be honest with you, and uh, I'm very, very, very proud. I know it's not uh, probably a question to ask right now, but what does the, the immediate future hold for Joe Mullen? Oh, have a good nice drink tonight. <laughs> That's the immediate future. Have a nice drink. We've got a, uh, we're going to win the National Premier League. We uh, go to Canberra in two weeks' time, and uh, we'll come back into training on Thursday and uh, that's it. You've got the squad to do it. We've lost Dion Kurt tonight. Looks like he's broken a leg. Uh, unfortunate. Yeah. Anthony Hartnell goes back to Britain on uh, Wednesday, so um, we lose those two. So uh, we are a little bit thin, but we've got Tommy Veer and Andrew Mayo to come in, so we'll be OK. Yeah, congratulations, Joe. Fantastic. Thanks for your time yeah. too, Joe. That's uh, good to get him straight after a, a victory. A lot of emotion down there. They've got the T-shirts ready as well. They will be representing South Australia on the national stage, as he said. And the winner of that actual national competition gets a ticket to the FFA Cup as well for next season. So, uh, yes, a lot at stake for Campbelltown. Do you feel something that he might not be coaching next year at Campbelltown? Um, no. No, no? Uh, for what reason? Why would you? Uh, maybe why would you? might be going to Raiders. That's why would you? That's just that's my risk. Reason. And maybe Mullen go back to his. But would that be unfortunate? Back to the Raiders roots. coach has got them promoted. Maybe Mullen go where? Sorry, uh, Joe Mullen go where? Back to his roots, Adelaide, Adelaide City. City. It's nah. not improbable, but not just after winning a grand final. Nah. Uh, let's and I think oh, he's, he's, been, he's been a camel town a few years. So we'll have a look at the presentation now of the winners. Matsumoto getting. Player of the match. Played well today, didn't he? Scored the winner. Cassandra can jump in any time. Yeah, you go. i got halves here with us as well. Okay, Another go. Another wonderful, solid effort from you. Oh, it's great by the whole team. <laughs> solid, you know, a few scary moments, but got through it, so it's party. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're, a real, uh, you're a real group, a real solid yeah. team here. It, it's very evident, you know, the way you play. Yeah. You must be pretty proud of that to be such a, in a, such a good group. Oh, mate, they're like brothers to me. I love them all, so I nah, can't, can't complain any good at anyone. So. Partying tonight, huh? Sean. Sure. He's got his medallion. Fifer, you'll be last up because you're oh. the skipper. What a, what a great effort by your group. Hey? You must be really proud of them. So proud. So proud. You know, you've got to do different things in, in different games. Uh, Whoa, oh, up the gap. That's an interesting call, Spells. It'll be the last one up. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought they would take the skipper up last. It's but, uh, number 23 you can talk to. <laughs> What's going on, Dion? Do you want Kirk? an interview? What did, what did, you, what did you think of that? Hi. Shout out to my family, my dad. I love you, Toto. <laughs> well done, son. That's good. My name's Shrunko. Shout out to my family, Everton. Yeah, my name's Tony Taylor. Do shout out to Everton. I scored today's school soccer grand finals. A volley went top right corner. Woo! That's good that the kids love their parents. I really like that. That's really good. Very unfortunate for Dion Kirk though on grand final day to come away with a broken leg. Broken leg. You could see he was in some pain straight away. His you, hand you'll went be up. up last, buddy, so we can have, have a quick chat with you. <laughs> hey, hey, great job at the back there and, and your run and, and drive. How, how are you feeling? Uh, over the moon. It uh, hasn't really sunk in again. Um, yeah, yeah, a third one, so. Yeah, just just over the moon, mate. I can't even believe it. To be honest. Yeah, and you're a young man, and that's your third uh, third pennant you got. Yeah, I think I'm really lucky. Uh, I chose a good club. Uh, I've got good people around me. That, uh, you know, Joe Mullen, obviously. So and here, tracks good people. Uh, you got Fife, you're the captain. So I, I can't really. Uh, say it's down to me, it's down to the club and all the people there really. Absolutely, but if there was any waywardness with you or you didn't play your part, you wouldn't be part of it. So, you know, credit to you as well. Yeah, yeah, it's great to be a part of it. Um, but yeah, like I said, all the, the boys just um, make it easy for you. You know, you're up on a training and you, you got that, that standard there and it shows through in the game. So, yeah, unbelievable group and uh, yeah. Big night in store? I think so, I think so. Um, uh, <laughs> Had a couple of these and you remember him for, for a long time. Get up there, Jay. There he goes. Played a solid game too, didn't he? Yeah, he was wonderful, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. They were in control for pretty much a lot of that game. Adelaide City had a go in that second half, but uh, just too solid at the back, Hambletown. And poor old Adelaide City just couldn't do the double today. Cassandra, the women won the women's grand final, but uh, couldn't do it in the men's. Couldn't do it in the men's, but um, Campbelltown were the better team, I think, all day. And Absolutely. they deserved it. Mm, I agree with that. Adelaide City had their moments. Yeah. 
the Camtown were most consistent over the 90. 100%. So how do you think that missed penalty played on their mind, Rob? Just that going in, they haven't beaten them all yet. I'm disappointed, but they went in at nil-nil. It doesn't matter. Forget about it. Let's go in. You can't forget. You've missed a penalty. Yeah, it wouldn't have helped there. You have to forget about it. When they go into the change rooms and come back out. Yeah. That's where they're going to be more hungry out there. Well, they tried. Fascinating game to watch, um, especially when LAT came back. But to see the injuries you guys had, Marino goes down and then Theo Kirkman, that shocking injury. Yeah, it talks a lot about the character of you guys, of course, getting the double. Yeah, uh, tough game. Going through. Uh, um, we're going to be in game like this. The start of all, but. Maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, yep. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I think the boys done there. Uh, picking the last 15 there when they climbed through everything. And that up, so it shows a lot of character, but they've had it the whole season. We've had it the whole season. Sure, you wanted to say a couple of words before we present the trophies? Yeah, for sure. Well, you can hold it if you want. <laughs> uh, you know, first and foremost, thank you to everyone coming out tonight. Uh, especially our supporters. who supported us all season uh, through thick and thin. Uh, always do. It's a wonderful club, Campbelltown, and we appreciate every, everything that you guys do. Um, all the support staff, um, thank you very much. Everyone there, Dom, everyone who's been involved in the club in the last four or five years that I've been here. Unbelievable people that, uh, you know, would really drive for the club and give anything to the players. So on behalf of the players, we, we really appreciate all of that. Um, obviously, it's Adelaide City, Damien Moore and his team. Um, you know, it's a devastating feeling. I think uh, as footballers, we've all been there. I've certainly lost finals and I know how it feels, but uh, they'll bounce back again. Wonderful club, wonderful team always at the top and uh, they'll go again next season no doubt and finally to our boys uh, you know you guys make me love the game playing with players like you week in week out the character that you show today i had no doubt that you would turn up today and it's just a pleasure to play with you guys and uh, to our coaching staff joe and all the boys uh, les Scales and Vass, uh, you know, you guys have been fantastic all season. You've looked after us. You've been uh, wonderful uh, examples for the boys, and we appreciate everything you've done. Thank you very much, Joe. Thanks, everyone. Just going to hand it over to the coach, Joe Mullen, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just be very, very quick, and uh, commiserations to Damien Murray and the Adelaide City team. When you win something special like this, it's always sweeter when you beat such a terrific opposition. So, uh, well done on your season, and I know, like Ian said, that you'll be back next year. To our wonderful uh, sponsors of our club, and to our players, my coaching staff, Bass, Eddie, Les, Captain Ian, and all the players, well done, congratulations, and enjoy your night. Thank you. Thank you very much to Joe Mullen. Thank you very much to the three men representing the Yeah, mate. You want to get Don Lee and Bruno? He's the last guy on the left there. With a shirt on his shoulder. Dominic, did you say? Yeah, Don. Don, Don. Lee and Bruno. We're going to hold fire until they hold on to their trophies. Ladies what do you think, of, what do you think of that, Don? Absolutely He's a unbelievable. The boys played absolutely magnificent. Can't be prouder of the boys. And honestly... Like Ian Five said, I had no doubt the boys having the week off and refreshing up would help us. And uh, honestly, I can't be prouder at the moment. Absolutely, absolutely stoked. I bet you are. And you know what? It, we obviously sort of know that, that often um, good clubs are well led from the top and it filters all the way down and you've got a very disciplined group. They work together. There's no individuals within them. The coaches are always, you know, very uh, mild-mannered and, and, you know, not very vocal. All stems from the top. Well, it, it, OK, we could, you know, say something from the top, but I've got a fantastic group that work with me, and I'm very proud of all the coaches and our, and our people, the way they talk and handle themselves. We try to be as professional as we can, and, you know, we try to be lead from the top and everyone follows, and I'm very proud of that. A nice quiet night tonight. I think it's going to be a very big long night. <laughs> Ask him if he's signed Joe for next, next season. Next season, yeah. He signed Joe for next season. Joe is uh, got an NPL final to look forward to now against uh, told you. Um, Canberra FC. We'll start planning for that in a week. He's going to give him a couple of days off. 
and uh, then Joe and the club will certainly would love to keep him. Uh, there's no yes or no at the moment. I think he's getting tired. He wants to have a break, I'll be honest. Ooh. But we are doing everything possible to keep him. Good on you. Absolutely. I bet you are. Absolutely. Always helps to win one. Win one, he's won three. <laughs> he's won three at this club, and we had won nothing for 26 years before Joe came there. So he's up. I think we've got to give him legend status at our club. He's just been unbelievable. Yeah, well, fantastic. Congratulations to you, you know, and your whole club. Uh, we were out there a few weeks ago. We saw a ton of kids on the ground. Always such a wonderful vibe and atmosphere at Campbelltown. Congratulations on that as well. Cheers. Thank you very much. And thank you to all our supporters that came out today. Yeah, They've right. been absolutely fantastic all year. Great stuff. Cheers. Where do you get your rumours from, Mr. Pepicelli? I get a funny feeling. No, his rumour was half right. Because the other half was he was going to Adelaide City back it, to his No, I reckon it was the way he answered. Yeah. That's what yeah, got yeah. The way he, he did it, Joe, Joe Mullen answered. Yeah, but so he's, he's said that Joe Mullen is tired. Yeah. So why, if why, if he's tired, would he go to another job in Adelaide well, City and their rivals? Like just, that's where he started his career. Yeah, but he's tired. So why would he go to? Happy their with rivals? that, Louis? Yeah, not too bad, Spurs. Um, <laughs> tough game, very tough. I thought we played. Everyone on our team played extremely well. I thought had a solid game, and um, you know, we, I thought we could have got one or two more at least on the break there, but it wasn't to be. Um, they defended extremely well as well, as did we. I thought Nicky Harper's had a great game, yeah. and that's a credit to LA City as well. But, yeah, you know, we've done it all year, just grinded out and got results, and we did the same tonight. And you, on your year, and obviously having a bit of a trial with the Mariners, it's been a big year for you. Yeah, um, lots of highs and lows. Obviously, this is, this is a great one. Um, you know, I went over there and gave it my, my all. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out, but, you know, I'm happy to come back home and back to... My club at Camerton, where I've grown up, and better um, get in there, buddy. Great stuff. Good on you. Who won the man of the match? Matt the Yeah, yeah, he went up oh, first. Oh, Matt Samoto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's the celebrations on screen with the Camerton Red Devils running out of champions for 2018 NPLSA Grand Final. Fairly brought to you by Bottle tonight, and uh, it was a, an interesting game, a very enthralling game. Very fast-paced game and uh, one that you could go back and watch without yeah. any problem, Many I would say. Yeah. Two classical saves by both keepers, wasn't it? First Absolutely. half by Ryan Veach, a classic. And uh, Harper's magnificent in goals. So if Rob Pepicelli's rumours are right, or whispers <laughs> are I'll right, see you next season. it's going to be a very interesting off-season then. Mm. Well, it will be. I mean, there's a lot of movement. Two great super clubs are coming back up into the oh, NPL. Yeah, All right, you will. Sorry, Sorry. boys. I've got Vas Pahas here with us. Yes. They? They're yeah. just right up the top. Just get him oh, to take okay. his shirt off, mate. Oh, we'll see how good those abs are. Take, take your shirt take off. Your shirt off, off Vaz. Vaz. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of years ago, maybe, not anymore. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, it's not a bad gig, is it? Hey, you just uh, retire from playing and jump on the coaching staff and uh, press day. Look, it's worked, it's worked well this year. The boys, have uh, they've been tremendous, Spurls. We knew we had a special playing group, um, and they've driven it themselves. They really have, and it's made our job, you know, I think it's made our job easy. They, they've got leaders everywhere on that park. They want to push each other. Uh, they support each other and they listen and uh, they've just been tremendous. So a full credit to them, really. They deserve it. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it might be just, you know, easy to say that the coaching group just sort of steer the ship, but uh, I'm sure you do a little bit more than that. And it's going to be an, an interesting uh, few months for you, personally. It might be coaching. An interesting th yeah, all right, <laughs> OK. Well, I think the, the, the most important thing now is that we, we really celebrate this moment. Um, I think it's, a, it's the third one now. Uh, we've won in, uh, in five years or six years. Mm. Um, to do the double, I think it's the first time the club's ever done that. Uh, I think it's just a wonderful time now to reflect, absorb it, um, and let the players really enjoy this moment. Because it, it doesn't come around all that often, um, but the club is building something special. And I think we today is about reflecting on that and enjoying the moment. And I'm sure you will enjoy it tonight, Vass. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's some beers waiting for us, Spurs, already. We, we will definitely enjoy it. It's been a long, uh, you know, it's almost 12 months worth of work. Yeah. We're not quite done yet. We've still got to go into state and um, we've still got another, another prize to play for. So we'll enjoy the weekend, have a bit of a break next week and then we'll be, we'll be right back at it again because we are 
we want to win. We want to win this uh, this next MPL final series. Yeah, well, I think you're in a, a reasonable position to do it because you've got such great balance between the squad. Uh, you work well as a group together, uh, beautifully led by Fifey, and and uh, I reckon it's about time that an SA team goes and and knocks over some bridges and, and says, hey, we're, you know, the MPL SA is, is not to be undenied. Yeah, I agree. And Metro Metro did it um, back in uh, oh, a few years ago. And uh, there's no reason why we can't. We've got a strong competition here. And you can see the colour of the players playing in this side and even in Adelaide City side. I think there are half a dozen players on the pitch today that could be well be playing in the A-League. Yeah. Um, and, and it's just really through a lack of opportunity uh, that, that they're not. Um, so, yes, I agree with you. I think we can showcase um, SA football, and that's what we want to do. Hey, we always love chatting with you, Vas. Get with your group. Tell them, have, uh, some, have some fun tonight. Tell them I'm waiting for a beer as well. <laughs> Who what? I'm waiting for a beer as well. Yeah, Robbie Pepicelli <laughs> reckons he's waiting for a beer anything, as well. Anything, he's welcome to have one. He's Thank welcome you, to have anything one. Anything free, Thanks Robbie's for your support there. as well, guys, all, all year again. Thanks. Um, yes. Sometimes it's a thankless task, and you guys, are, you're there all the time and promoting the game, and, and we really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Fantastic, guys. Thank you, mate. Robbie, I told him well, didn't Robbie, I? you've been waiting for a beer from 3 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> anything free, all I've Pepicelli's had, there. All I've had is a water and a pie. <laughs> hey, party pie. Don't, don't knock it. Don't knock it. You didn't pay for any of it. Boys and girls, we're going to wrap up season 2018. We'll just have a quick look at that magnificent goal that won Campbelltown the title, the championship, if you like, uh, the grand final today. Matsumoto was just two minutes into the second Great half. Ball by Detroit. And uh, Robbie Detroit, of course, the Louis, 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 Louis. Assist. Louis, sorry. Oh, no. His dad. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, there he is. Louis Detroit on screen. Beautiful, well-weighted cross right into the box. Really in no man's land. Keeper couldn't come. Keeper couldn't stay. He right. was just well done. Well-weighted, beautiful assist. And he got the man of the match award today. Matsumoto. Yeah. So that's about it for season 2018 from Live Streaming Australia. We'd like to thank a few people, of course, for making all this happen. Of course, the the, the team here at Live Streaming yeah. Australia, from Jimbo, the producer, who I don't think stood up for about seven hours today. Jimbo, I hope you haven't got DVT there. He's done the girls' game, he's done this game, and uh, he's done a supreme effort in uh, getting those camera boys uh, coordinated. Young Peter, of course, with Chappie. The ever-reliable Chappie has been there for every game this season. Of yes. course, Pete Senior, who's uh, filled the gaps as well. I know we're doing a little bit of self-indulgence here at the moment. Cassandra, mm -hmm. who's uh, with us and uh, always, I suppose, adding the beauty to the beasts. <laughs> I'll try. That we are. No, There's only do. one beast there, and that's yeah. Robbie Paul. Oh, <laughs> never listen to these. Ryan, uh, of course, your uh, thankless task, but we do thank you, mate, for coming out. Thanks I know for the coffees, boy. Recently boy. married, yeah. and it's 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 pressure on the on the family. But recently think... married, that's a year and a half, Paulie. I've got a kid coming in four weeks. Four that's weeks. Woo. Little boy is coming in four weeks. <laughs> oh. Another Marvejo rocks our world. Your beauty. Oh, Can we have no. another Marvejo? Oh, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. So next season, I don't know if I'm gonna have bags under my eyes. Or I'll need specs like Robbie is just gonna, so I can see. Is he gonna be called Rob? <laughs> <laughs> no. Chance in hell. <laughs> trying to make it, hell. trying to make it serious here. Of course, Andrew Sperling, uh, of course, down there, who's Mr. Versatile, either on the cameras, uh, making up stats uh, on, the, on the boundary line, picking up the wine, uh, picking up the wine, drinking the wine. He's been uh, part of a, a great team here as well. And yourself, Mr. Rob Epicelli, of course, uh, getting there. You know. Uh, prior to six hours before kickoff and all that sort always of stuff, there. so <laughs> always making it happen. I know that we get reimbursement from the federation, and we thank them for that yep. financial commitment that they make to make sure we make this happen. Um, but you know, look uh, at Not the end of the day, Tony as well, our Tony Lascala is yep. uh, as our, uh, of course, part of the team. Up commentary the, team. Yep, absolutely. So. If I've missed anyone out, Bomber, of course, uh, comes to help off his own back. Just wants to be part of this beautiful game. Loves this beautiful game. And when, when he gets his pass from his wife, the pass out, <laughs> she, she lets him out every now and then. I'm only stirring, Bomber, of course. I love having a go at married men. Um, so, yeah, all the, all the team here. We hope you've enjoyed it. For those of you that have been watching through Facebook Live, through YouTube Live. Oh, yeah, yourself and too, I, mate. Don't forget to sure, thank I, you. Sure, I pop up every Anytime now and then. Anytime you come in, yeah, that's right. I want to thank uh, Chris Despatakis from Adelaide Web Radio that yep. uh, 
gave the Federation and us the opportunity to give you guys the opportunity to listen to the stream. We know that data is an issue sometimes, so uh, thank you Scott to... Scott and Matt as well from the Federation. Adelaide Web Radio, Chris yeah. Despotakis, so yeah, I just wanted well. to... Yeah. I really have enjoyed the season, boys. It's been an absolute blinder of a season. From round one, when we were down at Valo Sports Park with West Adelaide Olympic, that was a cracky game, and it's just been an absolute ripper season. And it's ended with the number the one team. The game of the season, yeah, probably, Yeah, ended too. with the game of the season, yeah. and the probably the deserving team taking out the title it's and it's been a pleasure working i actually really look forward to my saturdays seriously know, yeah. coming out with the team we have a lot of banter yeah. a lot of fun and um i'm already looking forward to 2019 boys it's uh um, you coming back eh? Uh, <laughs> okay wife, boys wife and child i'm out <laughs> He has to try extra for that pass because there's a child involved. Rob, I, I yeah. know you touched on the Federation. I think we should give them a bit more because they yeah. have really supported us yes, and the broadcast and, and the wants and needs throughout the season. We work together to try and bring you guys the best product at home or wherever you might be watching this. So, Scotty, uh, George, who else is there? Matt. Um, Matt. Uh, Michael. Spells, you, you deal with them more, so if you want to take up the slack of who you deal with at the Federation. Oh, look, I'm struggling with with some names, George and, uh, you know, all the crew. They're just, they're just fantastic to work with. Uh, we never feel as if, uh, you know, we're an employee or, you know, necessarily being paid by let them. I Scott know, but I'm still waiting for that beer. Yeah, well, <laughs> he'll be up. He'll be up. Give him, oh, a, bit, okay. give him a bit of time. But uh, no, we, we just thank Michael. Uh, they, they give us a lot of trust. Uh, mm. they, they never interfere or, or sort of say, hey, what about doing this? Or we're not happy with that. They, they just, you know, they love what we do. And I think that gives us a license to, uh, to just do the best possible job we can for them every week. And we, we love our association with the FFSA and we're very thankful for it. And we hope that that continues in season 2019 as uh, I think you're seeing a, a, an ad of our uh, live streaming Australia service that we do provide. And if you want more information in regards to how you can watch these games at home on your smart TV. <laughs> he did hear a word. You said you'll have to go back and watch go, this, to, yeah. this whole three hours. Well, once again, as we said, we hope you've enjoyed season 2018 from live streaming Australia. The whole entire team and the Football Federation of South Australia, we, we thank them for their support and your uh, patronage through Facebook Live and through... I just want to mention one hmm. thing. Uh, Futsal SA have got uh, the indoor soccer happening uh, soon in October, October 6th, 7th. So if anyone wants any details, can give me a call. 0410-300-642. That's uh, the indoor soccer futsal. Get uh, inside, uh, Manny. SA. That music is Oi. like the Emmys. Wind it up. <laughs> That's exactly right from the entire team here at Live Streaming Australia from Cooper Stadium. Grand final winners tonight. Campbelltown running out victors. 1-0 over Adelaide City. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'd go back and watch it again. Hope you do. We'll see you in season 2019. Oh,